What up, baby? Yeah, what's good? You can hear me? Hey, I was the first one. Where's Zade? Should someone should call him. <laughs> He's not okay. <laughs> I think I think I was so late that that Zade was like, "Come on, man!" And, and he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was going. Yeah, funny. I was about to go take a nap. I was like, "All right, I guess we're not doing it." Fuck it. <laughs> no, what what happened is, uh, I mean, I, I pretty much always wake up late, but uh, because I started my off season, my food is so high that, bro, I must have taken. Good evening, time. gentlemen. It's, it's good, uh, hey, babe, you sound kind of like far away. I don't know if I'm not here. I'm under a desk. How does it sound now? Kind of muffled still. Yeah, I think something wrong with the mic, bro. I think. Uh, let me take off the mic. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, Kent. What's up, Joe? How's it going? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Chilling. Oh, I see what happened. Can you there you go. Yeah, there oh, you go. There I think go. you were telling me that uh, I had on the wrong fucking setting. No. I had the microphone as my headphones. That would have been fucked up. All right. <laughs> is it's clear now? Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. All right. How you guys doing, gentlemen? Doing Yo, good, bro, man. I, I, got, got like, I got huh? like sick as fuck on Friday night. So we oh, hit legs. Man. Bro, we hit legs. And I'm driving home. I had my post workout. I was fine at the gym. I'm driving and my stomach starts feeling weird. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I it was, I had in and out post uh, legs. I mm -hmm. I was like eating and I was like gagging on my food. Like what the fuck? I got it down and then I went to go lay down, and I was fighting it for like a good forty minutes. And then I went to the bathroom. I fucking I had the runs like nonstop. I, I got up and I fucking threw up in the sink. It was terrible, oh, bro. Like and it lasted shit. from like eleven thirty at night. All the way to like five thirty in the morning. Then the next day, so yesterday, I ate one of my meal my my bodybuilding meals, and I didn't eat again until like midnight. I I couldn't I couldn't eat anything. I lost like seven pounds, <laughs> like in the span of Friday night to this morning. And this morning though, I, I feel completely normal. Like my my stomach's good and everything, but. It was brutal, bro. It was like out of nowhere. The, but the, I guess my uh, my sister in law it happened to her, and then her son right before her. So I think it's some sort of like stomach thing going around. It's December, I bro. <laughs> what bro, it's December. Every December, this happens. It's a, oh, it's a it, little it happened to me somewhere like this at the Olympia after I left the Olympia last year. Mm -hmm. Um, I got yeah. something like this. Oh, like no. The Olympia is different. That Olympia virus, bro, that's a whole different strand. You don't want to fuck with that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, you don't fuck with the Olympia virus. <laughs> yeah. I, I've seen people lose, like, 10, 20 pounds after the Olympia. Like, the Olympia virus. Oh, it up. was rough, yeah. And you know what's crazy? <laughs> like, everybody gets it. Everybody that goes to Olympia comes back fucked up. That shit that happened you this out. year, too, right? That happened it to did. that guy, Eric. It happened to a, 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 a lot of people, bro. Like, a lot of people. I mean, some people wanted to, to do more shows after Olympia and couldn't do it because they got sick, bro. You know? Yeah. I, I, um, <laughs> me, personally, I haven't actually been to Olympia yet. So, I'm looking forward to going and catching uh, the Olympia virus. See what's up with that. <laughs> yeah, you don't want none of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think. What's good, what's Stu? What's going on, Beef? Y'all hear what's me? Good? Yeah. Yeah. We hear you. Lovely. Yeah, let me that, get that, uh, that hair growing back, he got a little little fro situation going on. Yeah, that's yeah, slowly but surely. <laughs> see Yo, uh, better yeah. keep up. Then I use sticking in, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> know it. Who, who got like the fullest hairline on the podcast? Look at Ken. Ken Ken is doing pretty good over there. If you consider yeah, body you hair, are, bro, I got you big. Bad. It's not too bad, you it, know. It's not too bad. Zay, yeah, yeah but but Zay got the sides sides cut off. So how that how that corner's looking? How your corner's looking, Zay? Not so good, bro. But you know, <laughs> I noticed when I when I stopped doing gear, my hair got it, thicker and hundred percent. Bro, every time. So every time by the end of prep, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I'm like, oh, it's over. It's over. And then I go to my barber, and my barber is like, yo, are you stressed or something? Like your hairline going back? I'm like, bro. 
I don't want to talk about it, bro. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> and, and then and then I come back, I'll come back in like three months, and he'll be like, "Yo, whatever you've been doing, it's been working. Your, your hair is coming back in." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, you know, I've been taking my oils and shit. Come on, man." But and oils, then, <laughs> yeah. And like, right now, you can't see nothing, right? It looks like a normal hairline. You know? But seriously, dude, but, if you want to go to Turkey, I will go with you. I'm down. I mean, I don't have like any ball spots. It's just that. As you can see, I have like a haircut in the front because I can't grow long hair in the front. It just falls out because it's not thick, you know. It looks fine when it's down, but I don't want to end up like Kai Green, you know. Like it, it moves <laughs> back slowly. Oh, oh so I mean, I, seeing, is, it, is it because is it because the dreads are pulling? So like it's it's kind of like exactly. seeing, right. Yeah, it makes yeah. it worse, you know. Yeah. So it would hurt because you know it would be be pulling because this hair as a man. This hair is not going to be as thick as the hair in the middle and back, you know. It's yeah. just not. So when, when it's thinner and the dreads are pulling on it as it gets longer, it's not good. So um, after I go to Turkey, I'll probably just shave it off and like go like a, I don't know, like a mohawk or some shit. Well, uh, whatever's in style, you know, in, in a couple of years. <laughs> I'll go some more and more. I'm sure you. Oh, I see you, Joe. I see it happening, Joe. It's happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, like when, he, when Joe posted the old pictures, his hairline was like down here. It was like all the way down here. <laughs> yeah, I'm done, it here, bro. <laughs> but but I mean, I mean, honestly, we can't even complain because I mean, this this guy is like literally. I mean, like Eric, if uh, if Eric hops on, Eric lost his hair like what, like I don't know, nineteen twenty. I don't know. His shit started going back. Fast. Right? Like fast. <laughs> but he, yeah. the guy had long. He had long hair like this, and then yeah. fucking two days later, his shit was like back here. I'm like, damn, that that. <laughs> That cycle, though, yo, if we take all them grams of gear, that shit, you know, because Eric was, hey, he ain't gonna lie to you. He'll tell you exactly what he's taking. And he was taking, what he was taking some crazy Konevsky? things. Konevsky, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's like, who the fuck is Eric? <laughs> Eric, uh, he's gonna hop on. Oh, he, okay, yeah, he's okay. been, he's he been both from time, but uh, he just woke up and I was late. So he probably, he might have fallen back asleep, but let's see. But yeah, it's so, one uh, dude, he just woke up. <laughs> bro, I mean, you I'm not. I'm not life. so good. <laughs> I'm not that good myself. I, I I'll be waking up sometimes like twelve, bro. I've, I've been so bad recently, man. But <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm over at my parents' house right now, taking care of the the pets because they're on a vacation. Uh, so yeah. I got like wake up hella early to walk the dog. It's it's pretty good for me. So. Yeah, bro. yeah. So like today, I woke up at twelve, but um, I've been eating so much food that. Cause I started my off season, so I, I've been shitting nonstop. I took like six <laughs> shits, so it slows you down, you know. Like you wake up, you take a shit, you shower, you make something to eat, you take a shit, and it's like you just keep, you know, the, the you fucking wipe time. If going. you're going to shower after you shit, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of have to. I kind of have to. <laughs> I mean, I have to wipe though, huh? It's like real quick, like all right, I'm just gonna jump in now. <laughs> well, well, in the off season, so okay, n not to not to get too graphic, but like during prep, like my shits are like dry. Like I'll take one <laughs> one wipe, and there'll be no residue. It'll be just like nothing happened. Like I didn't even shit. You know but what you in do, off man? season, you, you need uh, you need some metamucil, just like or like fiber lies or whatever. Well, yeah, well, that's that the thing. Makes all of your poops like that. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so what it's happens like is night I, and day. It's huge. I'm not I'm not constipated at all, right? Uh like during the prep, but it comes out perfect, right? But off season, it comes out like you ever seen like 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 dog shit? Like the way it looks. It's kind of <laughs> like yeah, it, it's like off season, it, it's like peanut butter. It, you got that peanut butter. Yeah. It, it, it yeah. Like stickiness oh, and not solid yeah. and like, yeah. I know exactly, exactly what you mean. I, exactly what you're talking about. I swear yeah. to God, Metamuse will fix that. Get on that shit. Yeah, but it looks also like the emoji, a <laughs> little eyes and smiley face. <laughs> yeah, but like, okay, so I don't know about you guys, but off season, <laughs> off season, I mean, uh, pre contest, when I get lean, my ass is strength, right? So it's easy to wipe because you just wipe, right? Off yeah. season, bro, my, my ass gets so huge, bro, that like it, it's like a, it's like a mission. Like, I, I gotta start some, I gotta take like a whole roll of fucking toilet paper. No, or I have to, get out huh? and squat, it's the best, yeah. But but it's really like this gotta shit. Like get some like get some leverage with this yeah, arm to like reach yeah. around, bro. It's, it's it is. really like a whole shoulder and like torso <laughs> mobility issue, you know. It's but not even just your butt cheeks. 
there's so much residue to off season. Like I said, when you got when you got that peanut butter consistency, what are you just, doing? Are you dropping bombs or something. I'm like, gonna, bro, I'm gonna send you some Metamucil, okay? It gets bad. You change your life. I, I think I I think I need it because. Bro, yeah, I've I, never I'm, seen you eat veggies, bro. You're always eating meat without veggies. <laughs> no. I don't. No, I'm serious. You always. Yeah, exactly. Friday, right. Homer didn't eat veggies. Maybe he's not gonna eat veggies. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> once, once I saw Ronnie, I was like, because everybody was like, "Hey, you gotta eat veggies." I'm like, I don't like it. They're like, you have to eat it if you want to be good. And I'm like, you look at Ronnie. Ronnie don't eat no veggies. And then <laughs> Ronnie's best but, of all time. <laughs> but the, Ronnie you know, also but, had barbecue sauce all prep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, uh, I did try that a couple times, and it didn't work out for me. So <laughs> I, I kind of cut the barbecue sauce. But I mean, the same thing I, I tell clients. Like when they make, you know, when they make the correlations, like, yo, I'm like, yo, stop doing T-bar rolls like that. Your back isn't going to grow. I'm like, yo, but Ronnie did it like that. And I'm like, hey, you're not more fucking Ronnie Coleman, bro. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. <laughs> I think, I, I think Phil said that in the video before. He was talking about meals or something. And then he's like, you not, you're not motherfucking Ronnie Coleman. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> also, also, right, like even the even when he was doing the sweet baby race, he was still doing like three hours of cardio. Like he was living on that on that cardio machine, you know? So it's a give and take, man. It's a give and take to it. That's what people that's what people don't rem uh, remember because a guy his size doing um two, three hours of cardio with that kind of incline, and he was drenched in sweat, right? Yeah. You got to keep that in mind. And then when he was training, he training at Metroflex, drenched in sweat, just working out, sweating, and, you know, burning all that shit. So it goes to, you know, it, it kind of goes hand in hand. And if you watch his meals, he was only having carbs with two of the meals. Yeah. So you got a 300-pound 300, a 300 guy doing two hours of cardio and working out that hard, and then he's only having maybe combined from the rice, maybe like, or, or the potatoes, maybe like 150, 200 carbs. So the barbecue sauce might bring him up to like 300. So he's still on pretty low carbs for a guy his size, you know? So, yeah, you, know, you know, Chad's you know. Chad's method too is like, you'll, you know, you, you drop really low. The diet is like during the week, you're like super low, way below, you know, anything you're supposed to do for your body weight and then probably fill up, you know, um, towards the weekend. It was like two extremes. So Have you guys exactly. ever done that before? Do what? Like prep like done like a really big like zigzag like that where you just kill yourself and then refill and kill yourself and yeah I don't like it I don't like I've, it man I've never done it that extreme like I'll get flat and like then do a refeed but it's not like a whole fucking day of just binging you know yeah. I actually, I actually I, did that in my first prep because I was just reading bullshit on forums it's like oh yeah I'll try this uh, and I was like no carbs all week and then I just like eat a bunch of cereal. All weekend, yeah. it I feel like, like kind of worked. <laughs> but before I started competing, yeah, that's that's I've done that, but I, it could it could fuck you up, like you know, uh, what you would call it, eating eating issues and stuff like that. If you're not careful, call, I got eating issues from doing that shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I mean when I prep myself. That that's what I do, but it's not like it's not a like all you can eat binge. I kind of gauge it right. So let's say a diet down. Let's say I'm 260 and I diet for the week and I'm down to 250. I'm like, oh shit, I lost 10 pounds and my strength is down. Then I'm going to eat as much carbs as I can eat while monitoring my look. So let's say I wake up, have cereal, bacon, eggs, look at myself, look at my weight. Okay, my weight my weight is the same. Okay, cool. I have another one and I'll, I'll gauge it so that I'm not just eating in, until I feel good. I'm eating until I kind of get that look back or that pop back that I'm looking for. So it's really, it's really like a... Good. Huh? Don't, it don't matter how much you eat when you're dieting like that. Like, you won't feel good. No, you won't. You know, the only thing is that it, it creates too many variables. Even though I can I can gauge it, like, uh, I'm somebody who holds water quick. So when I have a cheat meal, I hold so much water from it that my look looks good but watery. But uh, I also know that within three days, that water's out. So you can gauge it, but it would be better to have clean food so you can gauge it without the water weight. You know, in my opinion, I think that's best because when I work with Compton, Compton gives, I think he gives Paul cheat meals. I don't know if he gives Joe cheat meals. He, do, do you get cheat meals? Uh, this last prep, I got one big one. Okay. Well, Compton doesn't give me any cheat meals because, you know, he knows my body. So he's like, this motherfucker about to blow, blow the fuck up. So he don't like I'm going to just keep him. <laughs> yeah. He don't, he don't want me. It was good, Eric. What's up? What's up, Eric? You guys, on, you got, you guys know Eric. Do all of you know Eric or no? Or some of you? 
I never no, met him. Just from you. I've never met him. Yeah. But like, but like following him, like, like. Oh, I'm oh, lying. Where? I did meet. I met him at the LA Athletic Club when he was. You're making fun of that dude where you wore a cowboy hat. Um, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so that wasn't. I mean, yeah. I have a picture of you You're wearing a Superman shirt and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I was but, way but, smaller back then, though, too. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say that, like Joe, a couple years ago, didn't look like Joe, so you know, I yeah, don't remember him. <laughs> was that? Yeah, I, got, I gotta say, dude, that video you did with the bodybuilder on stage, you trolled the shit out of him, dude. That was extremely funny. The the but, one where uh, I felt uh, on out there at Venice, uh, what's it called? The show I forgot the, the oh yeah, muscle, muscle Beach thing, Muscle Beach, Muscle, yeah, muscle yeah, Beach yeah, contest, yeah. 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 Oh, you're wow. number one. He's number one. <laughs> I'm not so okay. So I, I'm not like a big prank consumer. I remember. I mean, when Eric first started doing it, I started watching more prank channels. But generally, I, I'm not like a prank, prank fitness consumer, uh, like a prank consumer. But I will say, like the the expo ones, those are like those are my favorite. Like th those are pranks that um is all. I'm always gonna find it interesting because I'm a bodybuilder and I, I know these bodybuilders and I like seeing how they react because. A lot of them are just so the honest ones. They're usually so cool, bro. Like Phil's like, oh yeah, I'm like, uh, like what does Phil have to lie about, right? So he's a man. Oh yeah, I weigh this much, and they hop on it. But you can tell it's pretty evident to tell who who's like lying, right? They get. Why would you get nervous when somebody asks you your weight? Like it's a simple question. What's your weight? Uh, I don't know. Uh, and they get weird about it. But I think for me that that's like my 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 favorite fitness fitness prank videos. Well, yeah, honestly, but, I don't even consider like the weighing people a prank. It's more like a social experiment at this point. Yeah, and, like, m mostly to see like who's a dickhead and who's not, even more than like who's lying, who's telling the truth, which is what it started yeah. as. Yeah, yeah. Well, because because the truth is, it's pretty simple, and you can you can also decline. You can also be like, "No, I'm good," and then yeah, like there's really none there. Yeah, exactly. But but he, but there was no there was no disagreement. It was just no. Nah, yeah. I don't think I want to do that. And it's, it's not, I think what it is is because I think they see some of the reactions. I think people assume that you're trying to troll them, right? Like yeah. they, they assume the word. They're like, he must be trying to get one over me. So let me get him first. But it's like, it's, it's really not like, a, it's like you said, it's really not a prank because there's no prank. Then it's like Dave Palumbo was like, oh yeah, sure. Okay. And hopped on it. And he's like, you see, and like, oh, that's dope. I mean, you look bigger. And then it's all, it's all love. But I think a, a lot of time, maybe people already have a, a, a preconceived image of it, right? Yeah. Like the the, the latest one you, you did with, with Mike Van Wick, I, I feel like what it was is because remember when you did it to uh, Fuad, right? Well, I don't think that's what it was, but go ahead. Oh, yeah? See, so when I saw it, I was assuming, okay, because when you did it to Fuad, Fuad was like cool and laughing about it, but towards the end, he seemed irritated. So I'm like, okay. Fuad probably like didn't like it for for whatever reason, right? Because uh, and then well, ego didn't like it. <laughs> but <laughs> so so I, I was assuming Mike, him and Mike probably like Mike saw it or they talked about it, and Mike is like, okay, I don't like this guy because Fuad doesn't like him, right? That that was, that was my assumption, and then the first, when he the, saw you, uh -huh. the first day uh, off camera after it. Mike mm -hmm. told me, like, if you came up to me yourself and asked me, I would have done it. But because I don't know who Tanner is, that's why I didn't do it. And it's like, it, first of all, the question is the same. Secondly, uh, if I asked you beforehand, that would defeat the whole purpose of doing it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Are you are you smoking there, by the way, Eric? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <what he> said. <laughs> that's funny. But you know what's funny? Like. Did I, I know I actually know a lot of bodybuilders that smoke, but 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 they don't like to do it on on camera usually. Or, or they, they don't want anybody to know. Fucking you know. slobs, dude. Mark 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 He did that shit like a G. He stood there like a G. He still you does. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So so yeah. So with Mike, I feel like I, I feel like it was like a uh, what do you call it? Like a not like a disagreement. I feel like it's turned into something that it didn't it didn't have to. Because yeah, but now turned it into that. Yeah, but th that's the thing. Because that's kind of the, the genius thing about what you were doing with the scale, right? Is like with the pranks, I can kind of see like, okay, this this could get annoying, right? You should still be a you know, shouldn't be an asshole about it, right? But like, mm -hmm. if you're pranking people, they could understandably get mad. But like, you're literally just asking them to step on a scale. What's the big deal, it's right? Like, you're, you, how can you be the bad guy here? <laughs> <laughs> so. Genius, because they think really. the scale weight determines muscularity. That's the issue. 
You know, so if your number is low, you're not as big, even if you look big. But if your number is high, but you don't look as big, uh, just the big number, you know, would tell everything, basically. But people don't understand that. Scale weight, don't tell someone's muscularity, you know? My thing is this, for for that situation, right, I mean, mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, Mike is, Mike, I don't know if he's 290 or 300, doesn't matter. He's definitely Mm -hmm. up there, right? So, yeah. It doesn't really matter. I, I think where the issue is, is just it kind of escalated. Like when he was like, okay, I told you my weight, but I don't want to weigh myself. I think that was okay. I think where it escalated was, I think I watched the video where the other guy came in and, and it kind of just like went south completely. Right. Cause mm-hmm. like, let's say like you have a lot of people coming in, you're at an expo or whatever. A lot of people are coming to your booth. Like I get it. Like if he doesn't want to step on a scale at that particular moment or, you know, for whatever reason, I'm not defending the guy, but everyone still has a right to, you know, say yes or no to something. But yeah, yeah. I think when that other guy came in is when the thing just derailed completely. Because Eric, let me ask you, I'm sure you would have been fine if if it was kind of like, all right, you know, we're we're cool. Like, I don't want to wait right now. Maybe if you want to we want to step aside after, or maybe there are a couple of people here. If he came up to you, or when you came up to him, he's like, Look, listen, there are a lot of people here, like we could do this after a scheduled time. I'm sure you would have been okay with that, right? Versus when the other guy came in, and that's when it kind of just, you know, went south. Who's the other guy that you're doing the video with? Yeah, and um, uh, yeah. yeah. So, um, well, first of all, his booth was dead. We, um, that's why Tanner ran in there. There was nobody there. Uh, I, I didn't even know he was going up to Mike. But, um, yeah, like I mean, if that was his reaction, that was his reaction. Like it wouldn't have been anything really but yeah when the murderer guy came in that's bro like what is yeah. that the, the murderer guy is the one that fucked up the whole video i mean well, <laughs> well he I mean, makes it, a video technically yeah you're right i mean it's gonna get way more views but but like i feel like everything was chill until he was like bro how are you gonna tell somebody like i'm gonna kill you like he thought you was gonna let that slide like you're not gonna let that slide like if, if somebody said, Yo. on that he was telling the <laughs> truth like i i don't think he was because like yeah but you don't just go say shit like that. No, because <laughs> people who do that don't talk like that, right? Yeah. Like 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 Joey Stacks. I know Joey Stacks actually been through some shit, right? Mm-hmm. But he doesn't go around saying like, yo, I kill people. He'll he'll wait until somebody like that tries one of his boys and then he'll he'll confront them, right? Cause because Joey Stacks didn't go. But this guy, like, come on. He said, Yo, I got acquitted of murder. Like that's that sounds crazy, bro. <laughs> What are you talking about, bro? Well, that means you he doesn't do it, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> good lawyer. Once, w- once he came in, the whole shit fucked because Mike, Mike was actually chill. Mike got a little heated, I think, at Tanner. Yeah. But Mike, ne- Mike never actually got heated with Eric at all. Like uh, he, he didn't seem like he was had anything against Eric. So it's funny because I feel like now the beef has become Mike versus Eric. But there actually is no beef between Mike and Eric. It was literally the killer. I'm sure Eric doesn't fuck with the killer, and the killer don't fuck with Eric. But it, does he have it, a name it was never... or is he just the killer? <laughs> exactly. Like everyone's <laughs> like, everyone second it on Mike, but it's actually this guy. Um, you know what I'm saying? And then Mike yeah, got into it with Mike guy. got into it with Tanner, but Mike never actually got into it with Eric. So it's like this beef between Eric and because Eric is the is the popular one, right? And then Mike is the popular one. So the popular guys are the one that's that's going to get the views. But the truth is, there was never any altercation between Eric and Mike, right? So I was thinking like, yo, I want to find a way to squash this between Eric and Mike. But I'm like, wait, Eric and Mike don't actually got, got a beef. So, you know, the killer guy, fuck the killer guy. Nobody cares about him. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you know, that, that that's irrelevant. So there's really nothing to squash, you know what I'm saying? But uh, in the video, if you look at Eric's eyes when the killer guy starts talking to him, Eric's looking. Yeah, you're like, what the what? The fuck you're is like, huh? this guy? <laughs> Did you just say that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah the, the way he turned around, <laughs> and his face, he's like, what? Excuse me. But you he's know, like, if, if you also see when I walk up there, I'm like, la- I'm like smiling and laughing because I assumed they were gonna be cool. Like I didn't expect that at all. You know what I mean? Everybody yeah, yeah. Up, up to that point had been cool. You know? Yeah. Look at <laughs> Eric was like, wait, what? You thought? You thought? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, well, one thing about Eric, right? You gotta keep in mind. I, I've known Eric for a long time, right? Eric isn't scared. Like he, he he's not scared of anybody. So you gotta keep in mind. Like he's not coming there to fight anybody, but he's also not scared of you. You're not gonna punk him. I think people will be like, "This guy is a YouTuber, so let me punk him." And it's like, not them in particular, but in general, right? This one guy, th- that crazy guy at Venice, literally like jumped up, was shoving him, wanted to fight him, and Eric is standing there like, do something, like what the like? <laughs> and this this guy is six eight. 
and athletic. Like I'm sure the guy could fucking fight, but wow. Eric, Eric, he that doesn't that doesn't face him. You know what I'm saying? And it's never that serious. The, the same thing happened to that guy. Eric weighed him and measured him, and and the the height came in at six seven. And the guy's like, yo, fuck you, I'm 6'9". You crazy? I'm fucking 6'9". I'll fuck you up. And it's like, bro, what the fuck? Like, you don't, you don't, you want to fuck him up because you're six, you're not 6'9"? Six, that, that's insane to me. And he was slouching, too, so I offered him to remeasure, <laughs> but no. Like, he he's, like, going crazy already. Yeah, that's wild. So, yeah, but anyway, yeah, I, I want I want to squash this beef if there's any beef. I'm I, I'm going to shoot, shoot a DM to Mike and be like, hey, I want to squash the beef between you and Eric. I mean, <laughs> none of none of this expo talk talk to him? Beef. have uh -huh. i talked yeah since this happened or no no because no. it's just I mean, so I mean, viral i mean bro, i don't yeah. follow this shit at all and it's like in my feeds everywhere so and you know you yeah. know i actually told it's so funny because i told him off camera that day he's like i understand what you're doing but i'm like you don't understand what i'm doing because if you did you wouldn't this wouldn't have just happened because now this is going to go viral. He's like, if it goes viral, it goes viral. I don't think he believed me, but yeah, because you gotta keep in mind, like these bodybuilders, they don't they don't know like how viral your channel is, so they think you're just some random guy. But the truth is that you should act the same regardless. Because you remember, there's been times in the past where where somebody has came at you right, and then they get trolled for like months, and then they're crying and shit like, oh, this is so sad. In fact, bro. When you treat people like that, and because you think they don't have any followers, and they happen to have more followers than you, then you, then now you get trolled, and it's like, it just just treat everybody the same, right? I, know, I the forget first, the other guy's name. The first time I went viral um, with Julian, uh, that's when my videos were getting like no views, and that's just the first video that blew up. Um, yeah. and I'm friends with Julian now, but like, yeah, that's why you never know. Like, Wait, even if you have about Julian followers. Smith, yeah, Julian Smith. What did, yeah. what did you do with him? Oh, he's uh, the same first, thing, right? First person who ever flipped out over the scale, but we're we're friends now, like we're cool. It was, he, so I used to live in Portland, and he was like, you know, he's he's an he's, he's natty, right? And uh, we always used to call him Natty Julian because, like, fucking couple of years ago, there was some bust up there, you know, with like uh, some ring, some some distribution ring, and uh -oh. his fucking name got found on a list in these people's house. <laughs> Right. Oh, yeah. So it was like everybody knew, you know. <laughs> Holy shit. That's all I remember about you know, him. Man. I always believe that it's Natty because he's not even like he's not like Yeah, he's not guy. he's not big. I mean, I think he used to be a lot more impressive. Uh um, yeah. but fuck, dude, look at all the kids nowadays who look like shit and they're on drugs. I, I I don't know. I don't care, but like that shit is that shit is rampant, bro. I, I, that I shit, never understood. Mind you, uh my 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 gym, my main gym that I train at is usually uh zoo culture, right? And all these kids are juicing, bro. And like they don't look like they train. There's one kid that walks around and he asks everybody who swole, yo, what's your cycle? And I literally I had to press him because I started getting annoyed. When he did it to me, I, I just chalked it up like he's just being a kid. But then every time I'm in the gym working out with somebody, he comes with the guy, hey, you look great, man. What's your cycle? I was like, bro, you don't ask grown people that. Like this is a grown ass man. You don't ask people that you don't know him. And he was like, "Oh, why are you getting offended?" But and then I, I just went off on him because he just he do, he doesn't understand respect, you know. That's not how you go about it, you know. And I'm like, "Bro, it makes no difference. It's not gonna do shit for you because no offense, you're in here uh, bullshitting on the phone. You're not working out. Why the fuck do you care about drugs? Like yeah, this is not for you. Just you know. But shit like that, shit like that annoys me to be honest with you. But uh, let's see. Oh, he, he was on the Fresh and Fit. This is one of my favorite podcasts. Um, Fresh and Fit podcast. Fresh, that shit annoys yeah. me, bro. The the girls just speak on that shit. I bro. was like, like, my girl listens to it. I'm gonna turn that shit off. <laughs> <It just pissed laughs> <me> off. <laughs> that shit gets annoying. But it, to me, it's like it's kind of like that Andrew Tate vibe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why Wait. why why do they have Eric though? Like, what what do they want to talk about? Oh, uh, it was just like an interview, really, about the pranks and stuff. Uh, because uh, Myron, you know, he was like. In the OG fitness, like he watched Chris Jones, Matt Ogus, everybody. So, uh, yeah, he he from back then, yeah, he did. Yeah, I, I love Fresh and Fit. I, I was stoked when they called me to come on. Yeah, yeah, but but anyway, like, but back to the point. The, the whole point is, man, like people, you know, Eric is cool. So if, if you don't get like, if you don't assume the worst, 
if you're gonna have like a like a good like like a good reaction, you know. That's why some of the people who he used to beef with, they're cool with him now because they're like, oh, this guy is just a regular dude. They just, I, I think they get a little, they get a little on the defensive sometimes when when you walk up to them. But I think that's that's enough for that topic. Let me see. Oh, here here's the here's the six seven guy. I think this 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 was the first video, right? Yeah, that's the Dude, first. Dude, this guy stinks as fuck. Oh my god, he's always, yo, he's always at goals, and he fucking stinks the whole room. Fuck, <laughs> who's this guy? <laughs> I've oh had clients. I've had clients complain like I I can't yeah. work out. I can't work yeah, out next. People have told me that from Golds. Yeah. Dude, it's bad. Like I, my 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 coach and I would when we would train next to him, we would have to change the exercise, change the whole fucking split. And go to the next room. Just Bro, somebody, somebody gonna take this clip and send it to him, and he gonna try to shoot shoot you, Zay. He gonna try to get <laughs> uh -huh. so somebody yeah. gonna clip this and send I'll, it to him. He gonna I'll, I'll punch him. him in the balls. I'm short. <laughs> I'll punch him. Yeah, <laughs> I but he it. too tall. But I mean, he's been telling Eric he gonna kill him for years now, and uh. I mean, he pushed him, and, I, <laughs> and that was about it. <laughs> he didn't really. Uh, he didn't really do anything. But I mean, oh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure he could fight. But listen, eh? yeah. you can't. You you can't fight fairly if it's not a fair fight. All right. Let me. Let's share the screen. It's just the truth, man. Like when you go to a public gym, fuck, dude, wear some deodorant. You know, Facts. like Facts. simple. Facts. Yeah, but have you, ever, uh, have you ever done cardio next to somebody that smells like shit? Oh, it's the worst oh, fucking man. shit ever, bro. Yeah. Some, you got to go. some, I feel like some gyms, the the entire gym smells like smells like shit. So it's like you, you can't really you can't really pick it out. You can't, can't escape it. <laughs> no, you can't. You know what's so messed up, bro? That day when I seen him stink like that. What? Well, by the time I was done, I seen these two fucking super hot chicks giving them giving him hugs, and she was literally hugging him so tight. His armpit was right above his her face, yeah. so I I can only imagine. I'm like, whoa, this guy thinks like shit and still pulls girls like that. Imagine. Whoa. At one wow. point he was at one point he was dating the baddest girl in the whole gym. I, I shit you not. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I can't I can't remember her name, but you remember that girl with the um with the face tattoo? Remember her? Yeah. With the crazy yeah, yeah. boobs and the butt. That that girl, she was dating him, you know. But they broke up, and she was like, um, like. I don't know if I should say it on 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 air, so, but yeah, it didn't last. He smelled like shit. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go too far. You know what? That, that, yeah, but that's just, like a, just, that's just a leave person. it to these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, she she said she had a bad experience dating him. That's that's, that's all I'm saying. But like, what the what the fuck do you expect? You meet this guy at the gym. He's fucking swinging all top on top of the fucking pull up bars and jumping around and shit. He's driving a fucking uh, old cop car. He drives a cop car like this. I didn't even know he has a car. Uh, I I think I, he got it like at like a swap meet or something. It's like an old. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like an old cop car. It's crazy. I've seen him on a skateboard all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he does that. He does that too. That that guy is a different kind of character, man. Um, that guy is just but 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 he's like a staple over there, you know. I mean, let's be real. Not, he's like a little huh? retarded. He's I mean, like a little. Uh, a little, a little. Uh, <laughs> He's, but you know what he used to do? Uh, uh, he used to he used to rap for me. He used to be like, "Yo, I I got something new I'm working on," and he'll start rapping, bro. And it's like, bro, I don't even know how to uh, describe the the kind of shit that came out of his mouth. But it, what, it, it what was his nickname? What was his nickname? Something Muscle Beach. What was it? King what was it? Eric? Muscle Beach. God, King of Muscle Beach. Beach. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. Uh, how, how did this become a, a like a bash fest of, of this guy? <laughs> we, saw, we saw him uh, push Eric. <laughs> Stand up for no. a boy. Yeah, fuck that guy. No. No facts. But I gotta tell you, Eric, dude, you got some big cojones, brother. Big cojones. <laughs> it's, it's that's the why. Side of him, bro. <laughs> that's why. That's why I stopped doing videos with him, bro. It, it, it was getting too. It was too much for me. Yeah, he, he, he saw his life flash before his eyes, <laughs> bro. <laughs> this, this guy, this guy catching cases and shit, like he he's going to jail. I'm like, I don't want to go to jail, bro. Uh, yeah, but, at, but at this point, I, I I pretty much like learned. I feel like where to draw the line. 
I feel like if if I go to jail, like it'll be like pre-planned, like I'm okay with it. Cause like I pretty much learned where to draw the line with that. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Did you did you Um, ever get in huge trouble for that GNC guy? Maybe you used to fuck with that older GNC guy. (laughs) No, but when I when I got the letter like two years ago that said like, oh, an LA business, like you're going to court for this LA business, whatever, and it didn't say who, I'm like, oh no. Like not oh, yeah. this of all, <laughs> <laughs> but luckily no, nothing's ever happened with him. I thought for sure someone's gonna come about that. That's funny. The the funniest part is you never he never actually did anything to him. The guy was just he was just he was scared. I I don't know. He thought Eric wanted wanted to yeah you know, do some. I don't know what the fuck he was scared of. But Eric never actually did anything. He yeah, was just filmed videos. Yeah, they they've known my channel for years now. Like why? Like they know it's a joke. Like why not just play along? I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. The other day, I think it was off. I think it was off air. It, it might have been off air, but we were talking about the OG OG Konevsky Fitness Day and like your cycles, right? Yep. What I don't think that video is still up. So what what was your craziest cycle? I wanna. I, wanna I mean, you. Come you, you I, I, I don't was know. There. You you would probably have to go on Reddit and read it because I forgot <laughs> everything. I just remember it was ten grams total. Um, at the at the highest level, but only for two weeks. That's what people don't realize. Like people hear ten grams, they think I'm taking that to this day. Like, no, I only did that for two weeks. Where, where, where did you start? Like, where did this cycle start? You know, when you sat around, you thought about, okay, I'm about to do some. <laughs> I'm about to do this cycle. I'm about to get big as fuck. Where, well, where did that cycle start? It, mm-hmm. it was contest prep, so I just mm-hmm. figured like I'm gonna go all out and mm-hmm. do whatever I need to do, and um, I I already started it at like probably like three, four grams. And then like, I would just every two weeks, like up it, up it, up it. And that's where, what, what, where did the test start roughly? And then where did the, where did the test end as far as dosage? This uh, is not advice, by the way, this is just experimental. Oh, shit. It's not advice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't remember, honestly, I think I, I remember at the end of my off season, my test was 5.2 grams. So, so not- hey, if you got Stu to open his eyes wide, <laughs> hey, hey, what? I, mean, I was watching Stu the whole time. <laughs> Fuck you. Where does that go? <laughs> yeah, that's where, a great question. Where do you put that? Where did that dissipate? You know, everywhere. <laughs> uh, What's your go to? Quads, uh, chest, lats. But the th- the funny part is like. <laughs> Bicep squats, I would do like one cc shots across the whole thing <laughs> all over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, what what else we got? Uh, like let's say, but you, I I don't feel like you ran crazy like high GH, did you? I don't no, think you did. I, I I went up to twenty IU's with that at one oh, point. That's pretty high. But then yeah, I dropped crazy high. high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how, well, how did you feel? Rich, my brother, very rich. How did <laughs> how did you how did you feel like when you woke up in the morning? Like how, how you felt? You were like, oh, beautiful day, time to time to get some gains, bro. I actually felt great, <laughs> but <laughs> remember, I started at three hundred seventeen pounds, so I was yeah. losing weight throughout the prep. So as I was losing weight, I don't know if that that's why that I made you feel better, high. or yeah. I just didn't give a fuck. I don't know, but and I mean, the- you know it's real shit because you were you were using the same stuff, so yeah, it was yeah, and, 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 and it's not like I'm promoting this, like I'm proud of this. It's just I was a psychopath back then. It's not something Bro, I would ever know. This was this was the first time. You know how people bodybuilders get online and be like, "Hey, this is my cycle," and people be like, "Bullshit, you take more." <laughs> this was the first time people said, "Bullshit, you take less." <laughs> yeah. I was like, "What?" <laughs> They said, no way you take all that. He, he's doing it for clicks. He doesn't do that shit. I was like, oh, he, he's doing it. He, he's doing that shit. The craziest, I think, the one that everybody freaked out about uh, during that cycle was 300 Anadrol a day. Mm-hmm. But I actually, I actually did that, yeah. Nasser, did then, uh, Jay, Jay, who said that? Milo said Nasser was doing what? Was it 300? It might 500. Have been more. 300. I think it was 300. I think he he might have said more than that. But uh, whatever it is, I mean, listen, it's possible for some people. I personally can't eat just from from one, so I can't. I, was I, can't. Say, I can't even handle fifty, bro. Like, <laughs> so it's yeah, so it, that's going to be tough. But everybody different. Granted, he was uh maybe I don't know twenty three, twenty two at the time. Oh, 
Uh, well, that's how you're still alive. Oh, Boom. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, <laughs> you it, was only, now, it was only it was only the crazy shit was only for like a year. And again, the peak of it was only like two weeks. So yeah, yeah. I, nowadays I just run 750 tests. But and the lowest you oh, just that, just, that just was only five five grams of test, right? <laughs> huh? The low end was five grams of test? No, that was the high end. Hey, what was the low end? <laughs> what was the low end, Eric? <laughs> um for the the past you don't have to rationalize you don't have to justify just i if you can even remember (laughs) i can remember but it's probably like 1500 to two grams he only he only he only recalls the highs he don't he don't recall the lows you know what i'm saying i don't even know he he, he was no big deal he was going by (laughs) phil but 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 here's the thing it's funny nobody caught that he was like these days I just won 750, you know, just like <laughs> right. basic. Hey, bro, but after hearing everything <laughs> else, like, I caught like it. Every other like, pro. <laughs> He's like, you know, just like, you know, when I'm just cruising, just a little 750 and I'm good to go. Listen, <laughs> it, uh, it, here's the thing. I mean, technically, it kind of worked. Now, that being said, I think you kind of got the same results on 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 a lot less than that. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you, you did for, for a guy that age. You did get pretty fucking big, you know, but and the um, thing is, too, because I was so young, I think that's why, like, like, if I tried that shit now, there's no way there's no way no, I could no. even do half of that. Well, uh, you also posted Remember, you posted your blood work and it was yeah. it was it was, it was, it was fine. <laughs> but that's that's also because, you know, like you're it's 22. Kind of, it's because he's <laughs> Russian, bro. <laughs> and then, remember, everybody was saying cap on the blood work, too. But like it was like you yeah. saw it, it was fucking real Greg, shit. remember uh greg Doucette made a video about it yeah i remember what okay what i didn't like is because i was i was your training partner they would lump me in they were like yeah these guys i'm like hey whoa 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 i'm not, I'm not taking five, i'm not taking five grams what are you talking about and guys would deal with me like yo that's crazy that you can keep your waist that small on that much insulin i'm like who the fuck on on how much like who told you i was taking insulin they're like yeah because eric i'm like bro eric i tell eric he shouldn't do that but he's gonna do it what nah, he wants to do. You've done some crazy shit at some point too. Oh, I mean, still, I mean, but still, but but crazy for me versus crazy for you is different, you know. But as far as trying, I, I've tried everything. I mean, I, I've tried three grams of test before, you know. It's just that once I try it, I'm like, okay, this this is this is not the wave, and then I just don't do it again. But uh, I think I spoke about it on on a, on a, on the last podcast. I'm like, I, I'm down to try everything once because I, I have to know for myself. Like, how how do you know? Like I could tell you, oh, you won't get big doing this much, but I could be hot. I, I don't know that, you know. Saying it's only your body. I'm sure some people can get big off of 500 tests, and some people can't. So you, you gotta you gotta test the, the 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 threshold, and that's what you were doing. It's just that I, I don't think people realize that you didn't do that all the time, right? It wasn't like five grams of test every cycle. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that that would be crazy. Watch baby's but, gonna get a bunch of DMs from a bunch of dudes saying, hey. <laughs> You say you try everything once. <laughs> yeah, that's just too. But like, but like nowadays, I feel like I feel like the biggest guys sometimes take less than like the like the some of the the, the smaller smaller younger kids, which is weird because you wouldn't think that would be a thing. But I feel like the people that think that's how you get there are, are the ones taking the most. But once you figure it out that that's not the case, I think I think you look better now than you did on those cycles. You know, I think uh, you were bigger. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think you were bigger, but I don't think you were better. If I'm being honest, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you got like more more muscle. I feel like if you was to go by your knowledge now, you would be a better bodybuilder. Because yeah. I, I, I think being that extreme isn't always isn't always a good thing. But let's go around the panel. Let's 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 see what are you guys craziest cycles. Um we ain't gonna start with Zay oh, because Cause they, oh, we know. We know. Pussy. Damn. <laughs> no, actually, I wasn't a pussy in 2016. Listen to this, bro. I did 2,100 okay. milligrams of trend a week, and I did oh, 2,100 shit. milligrams oh, yeah. of <laughs> Mastron. Yeah, I did 300 I, I, mix of each each day for t- three weeks, just to see what's what's gonna happen. I don't, I, I don't think just I've ever. See. <laughs> just to see. <laughs> I don't I'm think not gonna be honest. Ever... I did that, but I realized that's fucked up. I was I 23 feel. or 24 at the time. 
I looked great, man. I was hard as nails. But uh, I was achy. I was just going to ask Eric, man, how did you handle the fucking inflammation and soreness? I was a robot laying down on the floor. And, like, like everything was sore. Everything was achy. But I looked good, you know? Did you, did you feel that, Eric? Again, you might not believe me. <laughs> Maybe I was just so used to feeling like that. That was just my normal. But, like, I didn't. I does mean, that sound perceived to you? On, like normal. Does that, does that sound, does that, does that <laughs> no, sound like a pussy to you? That's I, actually sorry, higher. I, I didn't know that. I take back what I said. <laughs> You're an idiot. That's, actually, yeah. <laughs> that's right. I think, Only I once, think that, though. You have to try to 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 uh, to not do it again. No, 2100 think, trend, that's definitely uh, crazy. Because uh, when the most I did during the 10 rep cycle was 1400, <laughs> and I had to drop it to 1050 because... Uh, that was too much, and and I know that sounds like even ten fifty sounds retarded, but yeah. Nowadays, I can do more than three fifty. Oh, wait, so Zay Zay got Eric beat. I, I yeah, didn't see that coming. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I did not. I did not see Bravo. For real, bro. Yeah. I, I, I didn't see that coming. Let's, let's get it wrong. Bro. Bro <laughs> those Arab boys go hard, bro. We go yeah, hard. I see. They it. love trend, don't they? They love that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought Jay was gonna be like, you know what? One prep I did, you know, about one fifty trend, uh, got a little crazy, got a little carried away, but I, I had to try it out. I was I was heavily influenced uh, from Boston. I used to like look Weren't up, all, to, look up, yeah. yeah. I'm like, this motherfucker is doing more than this shit, and like mm -hmm. how? And I, I started. This is when I had the idea of, you know, I'm like, let me try some crazy shit like him, but he he went up. To 12 cc's a day, I never did that. All the the most I've done is three cc's a day. You know, man, the whole time which that is Eric 300. was talking about his his like crazy shit. I was thinking like this sounds exactly like Boston. He was just like getting close to the show, just throwing Going more up. shit in. I remember him in a video talking about it. He was he was telling he was like Ariel, I hit my rear delts, got to stuff it in my rear delts. <laughs> He's just putting <laughs> shit everywhere, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Where we put it? I think. Uh, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, Eric. But I think Eric was uh, influenced by Boston as well, right? At the um, time? To, to some extent, yeah. yeah. I was too. I mean, the first time I saw the video, I just thought it was it was just raw and honest because nobody at that time. You got to keep in mind. We talking about what 2016, and... yeah, seventeen. Yeah, yeah was nobody like... was talking about that. So as far as we knew, we didn't know. Well, we didn't know what I nobody mean... was doing. But I mean, let's be real. A lot of people still don't talk about it because everybody just takes yeah. five hundred tests, right? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, what I you think? know who's worse than Boston? I think Boston was like honestly overall he did dumb shit, but like he was a good influence because he told people not to do it. But Tony Huge is a fucking jackass, and I don't, I don't like that guy because he was really popular around then too, and he, he was like doing. Thing. All this dumb shit, and he was like, "This is what they're not telling you." And you know, I just started taking drugs, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, okay." I have no coach; I don't know anybody to teach me how to do this stuff. And I was just like listening to his his stuff. Oh, and Tony's issue with that when you when you combine it with marketing, that's when it goes south because now you're yeah. trying to make money from it. Whereas you see, like Eric in Boston, you know, there's no money involved; like there's yeah. there's no benefit to them. So when it's like your benefit, and you're like, "Yeah, DNP is great." Take everybody should take DNP and DNP has health benefits. And the dude was literally mm -hmm. selling DNP off his website. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. Say, my point. Say why Tony's was even worse than that is because you know, he, as much as Boston and, and Eric, they were actually doing it. And Tony, he would just do it for like a couple of days. Yeah, but exactly. he was telling people like, "Oh, this is what I'm doing." So yeah. people were like believing like this is his actual cycle that he's taking like for you know ten weeks, twelve weeks straight, which is just he's just doing it for three, four days. You know, so it's so even bad. worse. And yeah. then and then he's telling people to take certain medications that can affect your brain. Like, you know, he started talking about the uh, what do you call it, the benzos and all that shit. And I get it. Yeah. He probably knows how to use it. Like, let's say him and Leo, they knew how to use it. But when he started telling people they should take it, that, that gets slippery, bro. You don't want you don't want a bunch of young guys taking all these medications that they have no idea what it's doing. You know what I'm saying? Make mixing that with gear. Shit could go south. Shit could go south real quick. Leo, I believe Leo was trying to help people because Leo, he wasn't monetizing anything really. Leo wasn't making any money from what he was, the knowledge he was giving. Tony was making money from it. So that, that's, that's where it gets weird. 
And Tony Leo, did this great job of seeming like he was a wealthy guy and he didn't yeah. need to make money off of it. So he really was just telling the truth. And I gobbled that shit up because I was a yeah. dumbass 20 year old, you know, but L listen, any, any one of us would be wealth, wealthy if we moved to Thailand. Let's be real. <laughs> Maybe like, we you know, I could move to Thailand and get me a, a, a nice little mansion, have me, you know, 10 girls are all around the place. I think girls. anybody could do that. Make sure they're yeah. girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be slow. yeah, yeah. Well, he, he he's open about that, too. You know what I'm saying? About his, I mean, his Tony's always been, girlfriends. Tony's always been cool to me, but I feel like... Me, too. Yeah, I can't, I can't hate the guy, dude. Like, I, I recognize what he was doing now, and I have to take responsibility for being a dumbass, right? But, like, mm -hmm. still... How many other kids were like in similar shoes, and how many kids now are like getting that dumb information off of TikTok? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like ultimately, it's all your responsibility. But like, man, like what actually happens is like people get influenced to do dumb, dumb stuff. Yeah, it, and still, like I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that because I know how every time you know one of these names come up, people are like, "Well, they were just telling you what they did." You know, it's not up to you to follow it. But yeah. you know, when you're when you put that stuff online too. And you have people watching you. You have to know that, you know, there are people that are going to try it based on what you're conveying, right? I mean, the whole SARM gobblings thing started from Tony. You know, <laughs> SARMs and yeah. DMP started from Tony. Let's, let's be real. Yeah, you know? I, I mean, if I ever saw, like, there's a good chance I might see the guy sometime. Like, I'm in this industry yeah. now, and so is he. Like, I wouldn't be mad at the guy. I'd shake his hand and tell him about all the dumb shit that I used to do because I watched his videos. I yeah. could look back on it and laugh because nothing actually bit me in the ass, right? But I, I mean, could see how it go pear shaped. Well, I mean, is he a nice guy? He, he's one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet in your life. I've heard literally. he is. Yeah, he's literally the nicest guy you ever meet. That doesn't, you know, the, these two things—they're not mutually exclusive. You can be a nice guy and still be a really bad influence on people. <laughs> You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's a, he's a great guy. I mean, he'll shake your hand. He'll be like, yo, come party with me and pay for everything. And he, I, I mean, he was trying to fly. But I mean, I think he did fly Boston at one point. He was going to fly him out and pay for everything and just hang out and then, you know, do whatever, wh whatever it is Tony Tony does. He's that nice of a guy. But he was still, he was definitely a bad influence. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And like, uh, and, you know, I'm kind of like more of like a bodybuilding purist, you know, where Obviously, it's part of the sport. Let's be real. It's part of the sport. But I've always felt like it's not the, the whole and beyond. And that's why, like, you know, that's 16, 17 era, you know, Tony Huge, Boston Lloyd, Rich Piana, that started to be the forefront of everything when it came yeah. to bodybuilding. You know what I mean? That's what people thought bodybuilding was. And it was just strictly that. And that's where I had a problem with it. You know, it's, it's just kind of like, guys, like, if you're going to do that, that's fine, but show the training and show the other things too that are supposed to go with it. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's the problem with like, oh, like well, I wish I could come on here as like, you know, or any of us, right? We could, we could just be completely honest, but like, this is the drugs I'm taking. This is how I'm training. This is what I'm eating. This is everything I'm doing, right? But like, you know, we can't really do that in our positions because it's frowned upon. Uh, we, I could. we shouldn't. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but but oh, like no. the what gets clicks and what's get what gets views is like the most taboo stuff, and yeah, it's just uh, you know, when we're when we're talking about like you have to nail your diet and training, it's not because we don't want to talk about drugs, because like we love talking about that stuff, we do, uh, but it's it's like don't shortchange any one part of this. It's it's all yeah. important. Maximize all of it. Well, um. Me and Eric used to talk about literally everything we took. There was no no filter. We would talk about it. Here's the thing. I'm sure he'll tell you the same thing. You can't. You can't. Oh shit! Everybody, everybody okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you can't win because it's one or the other. Right? Boom. If we say, let's say, uh, you know, everybody here takes different approaches, right? Let's say Zay. If Zay said, yeah, you know, I take seven fifty tests. Then it's bullshit. You take double that. Stop lying, Zade. Now, if Zay does the opposite and says, Bro, I take two grams of tests. Oh my God, are you crazy? You're gonna die. Okay, if they you know, so it's like no matter what you say, people find a, a way to have an issue with it. It's either too little, too much, you're gonna die, or you're always you're always lying. You know, if Lee Priest says I take five hundred, he's lying. Now, if Lee Priest says I take, 
five thousand. They think you know. So or they'll or they'll be like, well, it's your genetics, but it's always genetics. <laughs> it's always going to be genetics, you know. So I don't know. I I, I just I'm, I'm at the point where I don't think it matters. And I, I don't want to influence anybody one way or the other because you know, you might need more, you might need less. So talking about it, what gets what gets done besides somebody going to say, well, Eric and Beatty do that, they're 300 pounds. Let me do that so I could be 300 pounds. But it just it doesn't work that way. So I, you know what? I, I'm finding... Huh? Go, ahead. Go ahead, finish up. No, uh, my whole thing is that it, it almost doesn't matter what you say. Everybody's still going to... They're gonna watch every video until they find something that agrees with what they want to do, anyways. So if they watch Zay, they don't like what you have to say. Ah, I want to take more, so let me go watch Eric. Okay, Eric said he did that, so it's irrelevant what we say. And we, you know what's funny when when people ask for advice about anything related to fitness, whether it's gear training, it's like you could literally say anything. They're not gonna do it regardless. Like it yeah, doesn't right. matter what the fuck you say. Like it it, it feels like such pointless conversations. Yeah. With, I agree, uh, yeah. That's Unless like you're like locking him into a plan, it's like <laughs> just it's like elevator talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, at the end of the day, I feel like if you were serious, you would do what Stu did, you would do what Zay did, you would do what um Ken did, and you would, you would do what Joe did. I wanna I wanna do this seriously. I wanna potentially try to turn pro one day. Let me hire a coach who knows what the fuck they're doing and follow the plan. Isn't that so simple? Like going on on the internet and leaving a bunch of questions about gear to random people and going. Oh, on but phones. then don't even get me started on the coaching. Like nobody, like all the regular people, like they all just fucking quit. Nobody listens. That that's one of the reasons oh, I had yeah. to like, stop it because it was it was it's so unfulfilling. It, it was like pointless. To be it, honest, like when I work with competitors, I love it. When I work with lifestyle people, oh my god, bro. it's just it's so <laughs> annoying. But you, you have like, to fight like a special ed. Uh, Kindergarten, <laughs> but 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 Eric used to go at them. Eric used to like <laughs> cur- he would curse them out and shit. Like, what the fuck is your problem? Man? I'm like, damn, bro. But like, I get the frustration because when you're passionate about something and people are just acting stupid, they're not sending check ins and they're telling you they're cheating on the diet, but they want you to change their workout. It's like, I'm not gonna change your workout. I'm not even gonna change your diet. Follow the diet. I can't change something you're not doing. You know, but it's actually, like that. I'd probably be worse now because, like, after I've gone through so much shit, listening to people complain about, oh, I can't work out because of some bullshit. Like, I, I just, I just can't deal with it when men yeah. do that shit. It gets annoying. Shit, when when COVID started, me and Eric went to the, a fucking like gym gym supply store, and Eric just bought equipment and put it in his apartment. <laughs> He just put the whole gym in his apartment. You know, <laughs> it's like I'm like, is, is that legal? He's like, I don't care. I'm gonna fuck if it's legal. I'm I'm, I'm gonna work out in my house. That's that's just what it's gonna be. Drop a plate through the floor and kill some old lady downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but 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 life life is that's why Eric always finds a way to be successful, right? No matter what happens, he's been through a lot of shit where you know that was taken away from him, or whatever the case is. But he finds a way to get back to it because he doesn't complain. He doesn't have time to complain because he's too busy working. End of the day. So you take a bodybuilder's mindset and you put it in any craft in this world, you're probably, you're probably gonna win because we're all fucking crazy, bro. We, we have no stop button. So the, the the day we we retire from competing and we put that craziness into some other shit, that's why you have Jay Cutlers and uh, Arnold Schwarzeneggers and. I don't know, Ronnie Coleman, pretty much everybody who who was a, a good bodybuilder finds a way to be successful because, you know, Sean Ray said he never worked a job in his life. I don't even know what his job is, but he finds a way to make <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> but he finds a way to make money, right? Because because bodybuilders, we, we got no stop button. <laughs> what does Sean Ray do? That's, hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm super curious. I uh, stick his own head up his ass frequently. Like, like where's the income coming from from for the mortgage and the whatever you know he got kids I don't know but he finds a way to get it you know bodybuilders <laughs> we are gonna find a way to get it done bro sell oh, drugs <laughs> all else fails oh we don't do that or like steroids no 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 they're definitely not nobody I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> come on Sue, what are you talking about bro? come on mm. but, uh, <laughs> oh, I just gotta on. say for the record. All that yeah. shit is in the past. I don't do that anymore, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I, I have not ever sold drugs ever either. So I, just I, 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 I mean, promise. <laughs> well, like, who, who sells that? 
<laughs> they're so ghetto. Like, no, because drugs. these fuckers now they're gonna think on, I do this shit every single year. <laughs> and uh, Jade, I didn't even when you're younger, name drop you, you or anything. Just, <laughs> like yeah, he you just know. piped up on your own. I like I have never did. sold drugs before. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, come on. We all know bodybuilders don't do that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You oh, got man. some more yeah. editing to do, baby. Next, uh, <laughs> this is my, my past. That's who I am anymore. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on, come on, man. Personal yeah, usage is a uh, misdemeanor. You know, that's mm. it. They enforce yeah. laws in L.A. Well, you know I mean, what's listen, funny? Uh, about actually, it. I mean. Real quick, my last race that I just did, I uh, I injected uh, in front of cops, and they did not get a fuck. Yo, you know what's funny? Oh, I, I, I I actually saw like a like the like a screenshot or like a a clip of that. I was wondering. I wonder what they said after. Like, what the fuck did they tell you after that? Well, one of one of the cops tried to stop me, and then I'm like, "Is it a crime?" He's like, "Well, no. You should just do it in the bathroom." I'm like, "Okay." Uh, <laughs> And uh, he he tried to stop me, and then this other cop just holds him back the whole time. It, it, it's pretty funny. Paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> this is why this... you decided I was going to jail. Today, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why. This is why I, I don't do pranks with Eric anymore. But it, it was actually, it was actually <laughs> put an ion in there, which I have a prescription for. But so I had that in the backpack in case they did handcuff me or anything. But I said it's steroids. They didn't hey, do this, did hey. you did you like blur their faces at all? though like no you didn't <laughs> oh, it's, it's in public public building i, I know it's just like fuck, it probably made yeah, their day a little harder you, you, you're gonna like, explain that to your supervisor you <laughs> <laughs> this guy this, this guy don't care man i mean but so far so good uh, uh i was thinking if i had eric on up I, I would have to delete all type of shit but so far you're doing a good job eric you're doing good <laughs> <laughs> all right who who who's next who, who's a uh, crazy cycle let's go uh Let's go. Let's go, Stu. I want to see what Stu got. In uh, you know, it'd probably it probably be uh when I was like watching all that Tony Hughes stuff that I was talking about. <laughs> I was probably doing a hundred, hundred fifty minutes of trend a day. I was like taking up to six hundred megs of DMP a day. Um, and I was like, I was like binge purge cycling. So like, I would go like a day or two just eating like fucking nothing, you know, protein and thin air. And then I'd go to the grocery store and like buy everything. And it, like I was, this was during the summer too. So in a house that had no air conditioning, a ton of DMP, you know, T3 clan, all this, all this other crap, right? I was oh, in a totally fucked up mental state. Um, and this, this is also like my first cycle for context so like oh, damn. The, the, yeah this this is all like i was learning everything from tony um Holy so shit. i was just like i i had a lot of gear available to me i had all this stuff and i was like let's do it you know this is what this you... is what they're doing i thought i genuinely believe that i would look super good if i just took more drugs because at that point yeah. i thought like I'd done my first show. I ha I wasn't on gear at that point. I was like, this is this is what I need to do to get to the next level, and then I'll be competitive with these guys. So I was, just, you know, do everything. And I mean, I look like shit at that next show. I put on muscle, right? Because if you take my, that much dr gear and you know you're training hard, like you're you're still gonna put on tissue. But mm. I, yeah, it, I look bad. I was not. In I shape. think. I think I think if we're being honest, I think all of us thought that at one point that if you take more shit, you're gonna look better, right? Yeah, I but you know, us... I'm glad I got that out of the way early on when mm -hmm. I was young enough to recover from it, like health wise, and mm -hmm. I don't do that anymore. So, yeah. um, I mean, okay, so just just to preface this, none of us actually do any of this. This is all just made up alternative stories that we just. We just story for the sake of argument. Yeah, we're just throwing out stories out there for the sake of argument. Yeah. This is this is not real life, you know. This is just made up for for your entertainment. That's it. Yeah, that's but, probably uh, probably the dumbest shit I ever did. But like overall, nowadays, like the highest my injectables get, like in prep, is like two and a half grams. Uh, and by the end of it, it's a little lower than that because like. You know, my test is way lower and my other injectables are higher, like trend and mass or whatever, right? Yeah. But, like, yeah. And then orals on top of that. Um, but, yeah, that's... I've never done any five, seven gram cycles. Um, and I've yeah. never pushed my growth hormone any higher than, like, 10 or 12, though. 
either. One one thing I learned is that, especially in prep, what you have is what you have. Whatever it is you built in the offseason, that's that's what you got. You're not gonna pull a Kevin Lavroni. You ain't gonna pull that. You ain't you ain't Kevin. So I think in the back of our heads when we're young, a lot of us think we're gonna take all this shit and we're gonna grow into prep and we're gonna just keep all the size and grow. Listen, man, like from what I've been doing the past couple of years, I've been kind of like toning down, right? So I'll be like, okay, if this prep I did Primo, Mast, Winnie, and Anavar. Let me cut the Anavar. Let me see if that if there's any difference. And then you do it and you're like, nothing fucking changed. I look at that. Yeah, I didn't use any Anavar this year either. I've used it in years previous. And it was just you like, what, I'm saying? what am I doing this for? It's just another drug. My and whole I, point. And it looked better, you know, so. Or let's say off season. I'm like, ah, when I take these oils, I lose my appetite. Uh, what's going to happen if I don't take it? Would I look any different? You look exactly the same or better. And you like. And you feel so better. Like, yeah. Yeah, and they're like, bro, if, like, building muscle is building muscle. muscle. I feel like you can't cheat the system. It's going it to take time. It so long, yeah. And Boom. That, when you're young, you want it now, and you, you still want it now, let's be honest, but you just yeah. know it doesn't work, unfortunately. It doesn't work that way. You're going to have to get uncomfortable, and you're going to have to eat a bunch of food, and you're going to have to get a little softer, and you're going to have to compete, and then come back next year and do it again. You're going to have to just keep it and doing it every year until you're big enough. What you know, you can't you can't fake it. You can't cheat the you can't cheat the body and say you're gonna load it up and then add forty pounds of tissue. It's, it's not. I mean, Eric actually did add like 30, 30 to forty mm-hmm. pounds of tissue, but but he was also granted he was also eating like eight thousand calories and training pretty fucking hard. You know, like he would throw up. He threw up mid set of squats, like literally while he was squatting. Right, so. It wasn't like he just he just took the gear and disregarded the other uh, the other sides, right? So th- th- that's my whole point, and and it still took. He was at the right age, and it still took time, you know. Yeah, so it wasn't, I go back with everything. I also ate twelve meals a day and trained for four hours a day at one point. Which yeah, again, so, all of that is excessive and stupid too. But like I I did do that. You did you that. Did, you and did. You're able. You proved you were capable of doing that, right? Exactly. I think, I think a lot of the younger kids nowadays who are like, you know, taking drugs is what they hear on TikTok or whatever. They don't even want to get big. Like yeah. they're just they want to look like their favorite influencer or like a men's physique guy. And like none of them ever actually look as big as like a pro men's physique dude. You know, those guys yeah. are pretty decently big. Right. And yeah. they're just like doing all this shit for what? It's like you're not going to compete. You get you, you don't want it bad enough. Like you're not gonna win shit. What are you doing? No, <laughs> yeah. It just makes you scratch your head, man. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go, Joe. Natty, Natty, I'm, Joe. I'm uh, the, let's I'm go, the, Joe. As far as the cycles, Joe, Joe, I've, Joe was Natty. I've um, always, I've always uh, had a coach when he. I never tried anything on my own. So good point. Yeah, good point. He, I mean, he just, the, literally the the most test I've ever ran is right now. It's uh, twelve hundred. Mm-hmm. That's, oh, that's I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't even know you were up there. But I, I thought, <laughs> I thought Joe was still at like seven fifty. I didn't know he. Made I was. I was. That's why I ran for the California. <laughs> yeah, for the yeah, California yeah. show, I was doing seven fifty for USA's. I was doing a thousand, and then I'm doing twelve hundred right now. Let me take notes. You said you said a thousand. A thousand for USA? Okay, I got you. Yeah, I feel right. like GH GH. I as of this. Uh, cycle right now i'm doing 10 i use but before that every cycle before that was eight six four like i built up to 10 after each cycle yeah i, I think i've cracked justin compton's code so it's it's what eric did but in the span of a long time so eric did it <laughs> In, a, in one cycle, <laughs> I've done it in multiple cycles. <laughs> so, um, and nice. then trend, trend, I actually backed off. Like it was the most I ran of trend was 400 milligrams, but as of the last like times I've ran it, it's only 300. Like max, it, I don't it, think it, it, that it does anymore two. after that much. Like I, I go up to like 500 now in preps. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I, I literally I, I saw zero difference between three and four hundred, and I went backwards. Like for me, I, I saw zero difference. Yeah, man, it's funny you say that because I feel like that now. But when I was younger, I felt like it did. 
I, I swear, when I was younger, the more trend I looked, I looked harder and vainier. And now, if I take more, nothing changes. The only I, thing I've ever noticed, like, uh, visible and, like, physical, like, how I feel difference is yeah. the test gone up. Like, everything uh -huh. else, I don't really feel any different that has gone up. Oh, except the GH. And the GH... It's like reliving the symptoms every time they up the dose. So like okay. the the numbness feeling and stuff and that carpal tunnel, like it'll go away after I've been on that like comfortable enough or mm -hmm. uncomfortable with it. And then I go up and I'll re get those symptoms again. But do that's it. Do any do any of you feel like since you've been on GH, do you feel like it's made your skin look a little thicker? Do you feel like when you were smaller and and, and wearing on GH you had like thinner skin? Does anybody ever feel like that? I think it's the no. tissue you put on you. Your the detail of your muscles kind of fades a little bit. I don't. Yeah. I was looking at some old pictures, and I wasn't even that lean because my glutes were fat, my hamstrings were fat, but I had so much crazy detail in my back and in the veins and the erectors and the Christmas tree. And I don't see that anymore. Uh, I got to be honest. Like, I, and, I and see, that's true. I, I, yeah. If you look at, I have it on my profile somewhere, but. I was like three days out from the California and I yeah. was the most peeled I've ever been, mm -hmm. but I was just as peeled for USA's, but I didn't have that crazy level of detail that I did, Boom. but I also Boom, had man. like more tissue on me. And that's why I sell you like, that's I don't know if it's a tissue thing, but I also yeah. for, for that prep, that was the first time I ever took GH and I took it at the 10 week out mark. For eight weeks so i wasn't even yeah. on it on it like that but the yeah, following yeah. whole off season after i was so maybe yeah. i don't know I, I don't think it's i don't think it's the gh or anything to be honest i just think it's the it's the tissue like it's new yeah. tissue yeah that's what i thought yeah, just yeah running into itself like, you know yeah that's why if you look at like you look at like just like natural bodybuilders you know when they're in contest shape they're 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 like hard as nails yeah, you know yeah, but yeah. you know but like when you're growing um you know as an enhanced person like it doesn't come like that till like later. That's what that whole muscle maturity thing is just the muscle, just like, I guess, settling in, if you yeah. will, you know, um, I just think it's new tissue being built. That's just what I think it is. Yeah, I, I really so. hope that eventually like that new tissue, cause I'm kind of in that stage now, like I've got a lot of new tissue in the last few years, but it's like, it's not all pretty and detailed yet. I hope that does come back later though. I don't know if yeah. it will, you know, but uh, I, I hope it does with, what whatever do you mean, like maturity? Thing. Yeah, I think so. Whatever the fuck maturity actually is, yeah. um, but like, you know, you get full and round, and you have put on tissue, but there's just not the lines and the details and all the shit going on yeah. in it that there is yeah. later on sometimes. So, yeah, I hope that like comes like back. like seeing seeing Joe in person at USA's, I knew he was as shredded as he'd ever been, but also looking at the photos and stuff. Like you see his glutes are peeled, his hamstrings are peeled, but if you compare it to the cow, I feel like every inch of his body was crazy separated, right? And like especially detailed. my back, my my actual back. Yeah, you yeah. see every line in my back, but uh my back was bigger and thicker and better at the USA's, but it didn't have mm -hmm. that same look. It was it was yeah. different. Even like in the arms, I remember the chest at the cow, the chest was like this, like fucking like that, you know, mm -hmm. the, the crazy shit. So you still saw it, but it wasn't it, it wasn't as separated. But as far as body mm -hmm. fat, I felt like the body fat was the same. You know, I actually think remember that body fat it was over. nine p.m. It was nine p.m. by the time he won. So if mm -hmm. this was in the morning time, maybe he has that drier look. Because remember, he competed at finals at the at the very end of the night. It's the same mm -hmm. issue as the Olympia. So what what about your pictures from that morning? Do you have it or no? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think I, you I mean, might I, have I look, a little bit drier. Drier. Early yeah, in the morning. Exactly. Like, yo, crazy I, never see, I never see any photos from muscle contest, yo. Like, like USA's this year, I, I, I've I barely seen any photos outside of the the MPC gallery ones, you know? It looked, yeah, I, I look like the photos don't look good. <laughs> but I it don't looked like, like shit. Too. Yo, those photos <laughs> yeah. looked like shit. It was dark and blurry and what the fuck, bro? Like the video came out good, but the picture, bro, like what the fuck, bro? This yeah, I regret says, not man. buying the video, bro. I all my pictures, yeah. I looked at them, I was like, I look like I'm fucking six weeks out, bro. I, I'm not gonna put this, this shit up. 
What well, and, and, yeah, and that's why you so got guys. Dark. The 60s were all so dark. I, I, I even the even the coverage for the show for USA's, I didn't well, see any. When it yeah, my, my my friends that took pictures of me, I posted yeah. those. A couple of those shots turned out really good, but not the actual show photos. They they, they didn't even show our our competition really. I don't think. Yeah, I I only not saw I only saw like the comparison photos, and that was about it. And I guess someone posted the one of um Eric. Uh, not you, Eric. The other Eric. Uh, the yeah. Country, mm-hmm. The heavyweights, uh, super heavies. That's all I saw. There was there was really no coverage of the show. I was like, damn, this is like the USA. It's like, what's what's going on here? You know. This is this is why people get online and say, oh, this USA is nobody was in shape or this, and you're like, oh my god, bro. you you just y'all y'all just don't get it, bro. Y'all just don't fucking get it. You know, you don't understand it. But I feel like people say that every year. Oh, uh, you know, I don't feel like these guys Back were shredded, day, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these Fuck guys—they just not doing it for me. It, it's the—it's the insulin. You gotta be the insulin, man. You know, come on. Man. Yeah, if yeah. Justin—if Justin Compton tells me you're fucking on, I'm like, all right, I came in shape. <laughs> yeah, know, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he he that, that that man knows what he knows what on is. He knows what on is. Mm-hmm. You guys, do you know anybody good doing nationals right now? You want to talk about that at all? Yeah, um, nationals. I'm Jamal. Gonna- Oh, Jamal's doing it. Jamal's I know. Doing I know it, yeah. Jamal. Uh, Jamal. Jamal. Uh, they came second in the heavies for North mm-hmm. Americans. I know he's doing it. So, what's his name? I think he, Jamal uh, Musba. He's from Arizona, yeah. actually. Yeah, good friend of mine. Very nice guy. Yeah, he's 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 such a nice guy. So, last nationals, he came eighth, and I I, I came I forget I came seventh or eighth. I forget, but he came. I came seventh. He came eighth. What's and, his uh, Instagram? Uh, Jamal, there yeah, he right. is. Yeah, third, third one third down. Right We're here. I love the two man call out you guys had at North America. Nah, nah he's a great, dope. he's a great guy, man. He's a he's a really great guy. He's a really great guy. Keeps improving um, too. He's been like knocking for a while now at all these shows. Yeah, he's getting a lot. He's got a lot bigger too from nationals last year. I'm surprised um, he's still I, a heavyweight. He's, yeah, when I saw him in North Americans, I was like, bro, like. W- Bro. What did you do? You know, <laughs> you know? I thought I, I thought that's that was that was his butt right here. I'm like, holy shit, Jamal Jamal got it like that. Impressive. <laughs> I was like, I was like, impressive, bro. Okay, but that, that's not him. He said Jamal's got it like that. <laughs> I didn't know he was. Yeah, I didn't know he had it like that. Oh, there's his butt. Yeah, there, you go. yeah, there, there it goes. I mean, it's pretty. He does got it like man. that, actually. <laughs> he actually does. <laughs> no, he go Jamal. <laughs> He's, He's gonna be in shape. Mr. California, you know, he won the Mr. California and Mr. Arizona. Oh, really? So he, he he has some good titles on there. Yeah, under his yeah, belt. He, yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's 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 a good bodybuilder, man. He's he's um and he can pose. He he poses very well. So I he definitely think that he's going to be in the runnings uh, this year. Who else? Uh, is it, in it, the would, it would. It would just have to be on from from North Americans, like. I don't fucking I don't even know the landscape of shit. I, I gotta be honest with you. Like who who's even doing it? I uh, I hate to say this, but like I I try to follow amateur bodybuilding still because I'm a I I like it, you know. Yeah. But like it's there aren't a ton of people that stick out to me. I don't know if that's just my perspective that's changed because like I'm competing at a different level now. But yeah. I mean. I mean, like at North Americans, it was like you two. It's a two horse race in yeah. the heavies. So somebody, somebody new pops out. You know, every, so I think every couple. You years. know what I think it is? I think it's the coverage. I'll be honest, because there's some great guys, right? Like um, Joe, your 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 USA uh, title this year. Um, Tim Tim John Tim John is his name, right? I think he came. Third. I thought Tim John was legit. He was a USA. Tim he was a legit is legit. I competed again. He beat me at nationals yeah. last year. He's a legit bodybuilder, you know. So when when the USA was happening, I was like, oh, he's he's got this, and then, you know, and then you showed up. But um, yeah, there's some legit guys out there, Stu. I just think that there's no coverage. People are not covering them, um, you know, the way that they 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 should have their due, and which is part of why Bitey, you know, when we you first started this thing, that's when I reached out to you. I said that's something that we're doing here that. I think it's very it's very very important to be honest yeah. because no one's giving no one's giving coverage to amateur bodybuilding at all. Well, right uh, I, I was just thinking up that to them to promote themselves to some extent, like yeah. 
I remember like last year's USA's in 22, like there was a lot of hype going into that show. There was like, you know, bodybuilders without borders did like the whole grid thing with all the guys doing it. And they kind of did it this year a little bit, but there are a lot of names in there that weren't, that, you know, that's what, uh, around. that's what happened to me. People started seeing who I was through the bodybuilders without borders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and I, like, I even saw the comment. Who the hell he's is that the guy? Only guy. <laughs> it's, it's like bodybuilders without borders. I think it, what's his name, David Sulios. Yeah, yeah Sulius. and then Sulios, and they are single handedly propping up amateur bodybuilding. Yeah, like, they are the only people who do anything. You see, so, that's like, right. My my thing is, uh, I kind of want people to see what they got to say as well. So I'm gonna ask Jamal to come on. Actually, I got to start doing that. Um, here's the thing, like some, a lot of people be like, a lot of bodybuilders be shy, bro. A lot of guys don't really want to talk on camera. So sometimes it's hard to get people on the podcast because they might be locked in or they just, they're not that talkative, you know what I'm saying? Which is fine. It helps well, that there's, there's multiple boxes. Like if, if it's not just three boom. people, it helps a lot. Yeah. A hundred percent. But when I would do one-on-one -on -one interviews, people get like, they get like stuck. So sometimes you want to get them comfortable around around people, especially if, if they watch the podcast already. But and like sometimes, said, like the, the interviewers suck. Like boom, and and if if you, if you have a okay to bad interviewer and a awkward bodybuilder, it is like the worst oh conversation in the world. It's like kill me now, bro. <laughs> you you, know, you wonder why nobody watches. Actually, mm -hmm. I mean he's a he's a decent interviewer, but like Ron Harris, you know. Like, I, was just I, I mean, you know, he, he's, he's not a bad interviewer, right? But like, he's not going to take a total awkward dude and turn him into a, like a a star no. in a conversation. You know? Yeah, it's just like, so when I've talked to him, I've kind of had to carry it a bit. Um, it's just so surface level, like, oh, or you know, what did you eat to to, to you know do this competition? Bro. Like, no one wants exactly to hear like that, what you know? talk about. Yeah, nobody. About that, you know, that that's not what people want to hear. Like yeah. you can you can cover X's and O's. We cover X's and O's, but it can't just be we hop on and be like, okay, yo, what what I don't know what protein you 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 don't want to make it that kind of interview. Yeah, you want you want them to to their guard to be guard to be off. You want to be like just two boys talking. You know what I'm saying? So, I think I think uh, it's like Vlad. You know Vlad from Generation Iron. Yeah. Yeah. If he be he be mad dry. Like I remember when he interviewed okay, Bumstead, okay. and Bumstead was so awkward because Vlad was just so dry. He was like, yeah, "Tell me, uh, what he?" It was like, "Bro, like get some more depth into it. it it's surface yeah. level, but dry." You I've know always what I'm I've always wondered how they can air that stuff and call it good. Like it yeah, it yeah. was so bad. It's it was so. I, I don't know if you guys saw the uh, interview with Gasp. Uh, they just did, and Branch Warren was explaining the back end of how yeah, yeah. that. Happened with the horse. I saw like oh. Iron Man. They 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 really uh they were a really a bad point of bodybuilding history. I you know Do they I just even think, exist man. anymore. Like fuck that first I'll movie so. came out a decade ago now. Yeah, I think they the got last a movie. Thing I did was about natty bodybuilders. And that was it. That was it. Oh god. Well, they, they got one coming <laughs> out with with Bradley Martin. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, so they've hard. lost the plot then. Good for them. Yeah, no offense to Bradley, but he is not. No, this is not where we yeah, started. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah. I, I feel like some of those interviews they get so dry that it's not, it, it's not fun. So I feel like if I get like a upcoming guy on, with with all of us on, I, I think they're gonna be like a, a lot more comfortable. But 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 just to get people out there because, but like Stu said too, um, I think it's up to you to a point as well. Like you should have an Instagram. You should make some. You should have a personality. Post. Like exactly. that, that's the worst part. Like that's what we're fighting here. I mean, yeah. Well, well, well. Here's the thing. Sometimes these guys have a personality in person, but you get them on, on social media and it doesn't come across. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's true. That's so true. that that's happened to me a few times. And there's people that I really want to get on, but I but I can't because I know that they just don't come across. They don't have the personality. So I'm like, if I have them on, everybody's just gonna talk shit in the comments. Be like, yo. That guy didn't say anything, or that guy, you know. So it's like, oh, I don't know if I even want to do that because then it might turn them turn them off even more to interviews, you know. But uh, bro, it's funny, like uh, with uh, Paul, uh -huh. Paul, Paul is perceived on this. Like Paul doesn't talk well on camera. You get Paul yeah. off camera, he's a completely different person. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. fucking hilarious. Always. And when he's on camera, I'm like, why the fuck are you so quiet? So well, I don't, I don't know <laughs> when to talk. <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker. I feel like, I feel like. 
I feel like he is opening opening up more. But you got to think of my. It, it is hard to get a word in sometimes when it's six guys. You know. No, but I watched it because we had to do this thing at the Fit Nation when they opened up the new gym, uh -huh. and I saw him like go blank when they said, "All right, go to do his little interview part." I was like, yeah. "Whoa, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> 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 what the yeah. hell?" It's, it's he don't like the put a guy in front of a camera. It's crazy. He don't like the camera. The hardest thing to to be on camera is yourself. I don't know why it's so hard, but the hardest thing said. to be on camera is yourself. But the best thing you can do is be yourself. If you look at anybody who grows their following organically, they don't give a fuck. Like the Bumstead got popular because at the time Bumstead was uh, uh, kicking off, it was uh, cool to have your Lambo and be on your Lambo and flexing and kind of being like a tool. And Bumstead just didn't give a fuck. He would just be on his phone like, hey, uh, to but, work out, bro. But you know? to be like Bumstead or Sam Sulik, bro, that's like hitting the YouTube lotto. Like you do have to have a Lambo and flex over being like, because because if you're gonna be like Bumstead, most people like you're not gonna get anywhere. Like that's literally just if, hitting the if, lotto. If you try to be like that, my thing is my point is don't try to be famous. If 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 if, if you're a bodybuilder, I don't believe in trying to be famous. I believe in trying to be good. Be good. Yeah, at but you, have, you you still have to be entertaining though. You can't just be boring and expect to grow that way. Yeah, but I feel like your personality it is going to be entertaining as long as as long as it comes across well, right? So as long as you can be yourself. My That's whole thing if you, yeah, if you're somebody else, people people eventually are, are going to see through it. You know what I'm saying? So you, can you be a more entertaining version of yourself? I think so. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're a chill guy, you, you can be a little more energetic, but you still have to be you. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And, and Beatty, as a competitive bodybuilder, there are two metrics. If if we're yeah. talking about that realistically, your personality and your social media, yeah, that's one thing. But your bodybuilding competition prowess has to matter as well. If you're getting mm -hmm. third call outs every single show you do, and you're and you're considered a competitive bodybuilder, and that's what you're branding yourself to be, it's not going to work. You have the best personality in the world, but mm -hmm. you're losing. All the time, like no one's gonna, right. no one's gonna associate with that, or people are not gonna tag on. So there has to be that winning factor, or at least the top contender to win, and as well mm -hmm. as that personality that goes along but, with. It. I think, but let's I say if you, for competitive bodybuilding matter, you know, yeah. If you come, I guess if you don't compete, then Eric's right. You, you yeah. do have to do something sensational, right? Because yeah. Bradley Martin wouldn't be Bradley Martin if he wasn't bench pressing girls and motorcycles and shit, right? Like if Bradley was just working out. And talking to the camera, I don't think he would have popped off. I think yeah. him doing that crazy shit is what made him pop off. Sa Sam, like Eric said though, like Sam, that's one in two in two billion. Like most guys, most guys who are vlogging their workouts on camera and just talking to the camera like that, they'll never go past fucking five hundred followers because there's a million of, of of those guys on YouTube already, and none of them get any views. Sam did kind of hit the lottery, even though he's young and twenty one and stuff. That there is some luck in that, you know. Saying I think his videos are dope, but there is some luck in that because, like I said, ninety nine percent of people that have never happened to them because Sam there's, isn't there luck doing anything crazy, crazy. Consistency too, like he was yeah, uploading a video a day for it was like twenty thirty minutes long for like forever, right? Yeah, yeah. So you got to give him credit there, but like I, I kind of like got into, I heard about this guy like a while after he got popular. So like, how did it start, like? He just started popping up and YouTube recommended for me like some, some, back in the spring or the summer. Like that's exactly how it happened. Like it just like it just kind of I, I didn't hear about him until he got he got signed. I heard he was doing TikTok. I knew he did. I heard he was doing TikTok first. And I, uh, someone's probably going to correct me in the comments. But this is what I this is my experience of getting to Sam Sula. I heard that he was doing TikTok and I started hearing about him when he first signed with Hostile. Uh -huh. And then the YouTube started his YouTube channel and all that content started coming out. And from there, it just kind of exploded. I think like there was a, I think there was kind of like this convergence between the regular social media fitness community and then bodybuilding community yeah, for sure. once he signed that partnership. And that's how everything just like imploded. Uh -huh. that, that's, yeah. that's I don't, I don't know any like serious bodybuilders though, that are like, Fans, fans of his, the, like, no. the, the guys like us will be like, yeah, yeah, we, we like him. Sam. You know, yeah. it's, it's, he's he's kind of like in stage one or two of bodybuilding. He's like, yeah. fucking working out hard, eating bullshit, and 
you know, having fun, you know. He reminds me, he reminds me of myself when I first started. Exactly. Yeah. You know and, I mean? like, like you love seeing that, right? But yeah, yeah. I, and and that's that's why all those intricacies that people like kind of criticize him for, you know, many people have talked about it, so I'm not gonna go into it. It doesn't matter, yeah. but he reminds me of of when I started, you know. I would go to I was in college at the time, you know. And oh, we got to eat protein. I would slam like six chicken breasts, you yeah. know, per meal. Did I need that much? Probably not. But that was just the mentality back then. You train for four hours and you just do everything you can. He reminds me of that, of that, that stage of my life. And there's I something just... to be said, you know, he's, he doesn't compete, but he's a bodybuilder in my opinion, you know, that, because well, that's the thing. Like, where yeah. does he go from here? Cause you know, he can be a gym bro for five years but does that keep him relevant you know and eventually Stu, he's going to need to get on stage i think Stu, this ah, is exactly. as long as he's on the, right? the algorithm the as long as i don't think the algorithm, he's making yeah. enough money he can do whatever the fuck he wants yeah and i don't think that, is that is that fickle you know because the, these is guys part, come and go i i don't know i'm just curious dude this I mean, part honestly, what i was talking about with that right the bodybuilding if he starts bodybuilding and he doesn't actually start winning oh, shows and he's doing that, second call out yeah. I was going to say that. I don't think he should compete. I think yeah. it's the opposite. I think it's going to be opposite. People like him. Part of people, why well, people like him is because he just does his own thing. He doesn't go by anybody else's tune. When he starts competing, first of all, there's a lot of things he can't do or say because of the IBB. And on top of that, nobody cares. Like, like what if he doesn't do well? What if he gets last call out? At, yeah, at so Nationals? like... Uh, it, when when he starts competing, like his fans don't know anything about competing, so he's the protagonist yeah. of the story, and then he goes and he gets second place to some nobody, and then bullshit, it's like, they're like, "What the hell? Like, what the fuck is that bullshit?" I feel do? sorry for that guy who wins. They're gonna get <laughs> fucking yeah. shit on. Now the other side of the, of the coin is if he competes, if he competes and he just wins everything and goes yeah. straight to the fucking pro show and wins the pro show. Now that's gonna. That's gonna take it to even a, a whole different level. Then you he know, would but, be the biggest name in bodybuilding yeah. and fitness. If that happens. But he but doesn't he have people. that. Like, he, like we're all bodybuilders. Not already people. like the biggest don't have that. to casual people. Huh? Is he not already like the biggest name to yep. casual people? He is hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, he is. You know, he is. Yeah, <laughs> like I mean, he gets more views than Bumstead, like for sure. You know, what I'm saying, but is he as big to bodybuilder as Bumstead? No, but. I mean, listen, he's 21. So he's, at this point, I mean, more than likely he's going to be bigger than Bumstead at some point, you know. But wherever direction he wants to go, if he just wants to make money, I think he should stay away from competing. Now, if he wants to be like a household name, then I think he should compete. But I don't think he needs competing. I got to be honest with you. I don't think he needs it at all. You know, yeah. if he was already competing when this took off, like Bumstead, then maybe he he should continue to compete. Like Bumstead now can retire, but he needed to win some more Olympias for him to be, you know, because he 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 goes hand in hand with competing. Sam was able to do this on on a fucking iPhone. Like he built most of his, his following on an iPhone, going to fucking Planet Fitness and Gym eighty and shit. Like he he last thing he needs is a nice car. Last thing he needs is to compete because he's popular because he's like the antihero. He's the opposite of what every twenty one year old influencer is doing. He's not going to be working out shirtless and with five girls driving a fucking Lambo. He does the opposite. He's still in school. He's still driving whatever it is he's driving. He's still wearing the same hat for for, for four years straight. You know what I'm saying? So you know, that, that's... Time, your lure to him is the process, right? So it's the journey. You're following his journey of this guy that just fell in love with bodybuilding and then he's pursuing it on his own terms. So if he wants to go into competing, I don't think it will affect him. Where it will affect him is if he doesn't, if he's not a good bodybuilder, period. If yeah. he's coming in, in top callouts and he's not winning, he's yeah. still going to have the fans, right? Everyone loves an underdog. He's yeah. within striking distance. So yeah. that can still be a possibility. Okay. But but if he's like gets in there and straight third callouts or something, you know, he doesn't even get to do his finals routine or some shit, then it's over. That's the problem. You know, in, that's in, the problem. In, yeah. Now, that being also, said, right? of, uh, when when you're prepping, it's so much harder to do content. So I feel like you should just focus on the content. Yeah, I agree. Not not, now, granted, and you're <laughs> fucking flying on speed the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that, shit, that was the only way to get through the day, man. 
<laughs> good old, good old meth. Uh, bro, I want to try that. <laughs> I, I want to try that. <laughs> I mean, it, it feels great. We, we talking about uh, uh, fent- fentamine. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know if I should talk about it because I feel like a bunch of kids are gonna want to hop on it. But I mean, you, you got to know where to get it from. I like to get my shit from Stu. Oh, did I did I say that out loud? <laughs> you sent me the website, you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm just fucking with you, bro. But yeah, you said, <laughs> no, but yeah, you sent me the website. <laughs> I swear to God, I got the link. <laughs> if, you, if if you want the link, just DM Stu. He'll give you. The yeah, link. I got you. I'll send you a screenshot of Bay's text. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um. The flip side is, let, let's be real, at 21 years old with the amount of muscle he has and he's able to stay so lean and get in shape within fucking four weeks, he's fucking shredded, he's probably going to do really well on stage, you know what I'm saying? So if if he did do it, more than likely it would work, but then at some point it, it's going to stop working because maybe you can speed through the amateur ranks and yeah. then you get to the pro level, that's when things slow down, you know, and then when it slows down, I don't know how good of content that's going to make. So, and, you know, if he I, tries to do classic, he's going to get lit up in that division. Yeah, because he, 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 he's, he's not, he's not open, classic. If he does open, like, he's going to have to be big, big, you know, like, open mm-hmm. pro sized. And at that point, like, is he appealing to the gym bro anymore? Because he's like oh, a man. big gym bro at this point. He, mm-hmm. He's not, like, bodybuilder sized. I mean, opinion, appealing to most right yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, were any of us that big at twenty one? I don't think so. So I mean, yeah. I, I think I, I think he's already ahead of the game. If you ask me, you know what I'm saying. Not many yeah. people were that size at twenty one. You know, so him at twenty three, uh, I think he's gonna have uh, quite a bit of muscle at his height. You're right. He might have to be. I don't know in the two sixties. I don't know what the fuck. Well, I don't know what, what guy though. Yeah, what Stu is saying is that it's gonna get to a certain point where the appeal is no longer there. Yeah, to like like original. if he if he's yeah. competing at the same weight as like me or or Joe, like like we are not relatable at all. We're mutants. Yeah. Like we're not normal. <laughs> you know, I actually yeah, yeah. got more clients easier back then yeah. when I was way smaller and less in shape than I do now. For sure, it's like For sure. it's like what the fuck? <laughs> oh no, I was working with that guy, man. <laughs> yeah. who's, who's making the most money from like online coaching, like? If you if you look at the guys making the most money, it's guys that be posting those videos when they're running and shit, they're sprinting and shit. You know, but they they got some good muscle on them, but they're like fit, but muscular enough that it's like, whoa, this guy is more, more muscular than most people, but they're not over the top. So yeah, they he ain't could coaching some... broke bodybuilders. Exactly, the biggest mm-hmm. thing. You know, which is what I do for a living. They they always asking me for discounts and shit. You know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kenny, uh, I got you next week. It's like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, but, uh, me personally, I uh, I like Sam. I, I hope he continues to grow and becomes the biggest shit in the fucking industry. You know what I'm saying? And he's the, like his humility. I like when when somebody that age could be that humble because most people that age in that position making that much money. They're gonna lose their shit a little bit. They're gonna get a little arrogant, or maybe start changing their plans and shit like that. So, and it comes it comes full circle too, right? Like we were just talking about uh, 2016 to 2018, the the Boston Lloyd era, you know, and you know, look at the era we're in, where you know, there's more focus on training more than ever, you know, training and all the other stuff versus just that. People know that okay, you know what, this is what you need to do. But there are other factors that need to go. And Sam, for me, why I like him is, yeah, everyone knows that Sam is enhanced, but that's not what he's, that's not the only thing that's there, right? He's showing you the day-to-day, because I think that's what gets lost about bodybuilding competitions. You know, if someone has never seen a bodybuilder before or know anything about them, they don't follow him on social media or whatnot, your first time going to a bodybuilding show, you see these guys, they step on stage and they're lean, hard, ripped. You don't know the process of what it took to get there. The typical normal person doesn't understand, right? And I feel like Sam is kind of showing that, which is which I think is really good. That's that's what bodybuilding, in my opinion, needs. Because every time you see a bodybuilder, the first thing people think is, oh, drugs, oh, they're stupid, they're just meatheads, they don't work hard, they're lazy. 
Pirates are some of the most hard, hardest working people in the freaking world. You know what I mean? Like, so... I'm pretty lazy, but <laughs> go on. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if you think about right. it, do, do you know how smart you have to be to be that lean and muscular? You know, 99% of, you know, Americans can't figure it, figure it out. So when you have a group of people who got to figure it out, that shows that you're, you're probably pretty, pretty I, smart. I, 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 it's it's actually physically disciplined, not mentally smart. Yeah. I just mean like from a discipline <laughs> perspective. I mean, you know I, I mean? Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> so the, the, It just shows how stupid most people are that can't figure it out. Like, I feel like in five minutes, I can explain to somebody how to get big, really. Yeah. I, because, I guess what... It's Sorry, a discipline he's saying. Yeah, what what kind of saying that that is really the discipline, not not the not how smart you are. No, but what I'm what I'm saying too to Eric is, you know, Eric, we're sometimes we get we forget that we've been doing this for so long that it's 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 just basic logic to us, right? Mm -hmm. But you go on your you go on your Instagram now, and you you post, oh, ask me some questions. Someone's <laughs> gonna probably ask you, oh, what what protein should I take or what's the best workout I should do for my arms? Like dumb shit like that. Right. Where you're just like, mm. how are people still asking these kind of questions in today's yeah. era? And and yeah. that's exactly what I mean, where Sam is appealing to that crowd that has zero idea of what it takes to actually do bodybuilding from ground zero. Like the first day you step into a gym, how do I actually train my chest? How do I train my back? Mm. That's who he's, he appeals to. In my opinion, yeah. you, know you know what's funny? That's literally why Eric stopped making fitness videos. It was this. It was like, can we can we see a can we see an arm workout? He's like, bro, I have a hundred and ten arm workouts there. You know what the fuck I do for arm? Every time we try to do a Q and A, oh, what do you do for arms, bro? What the what the fuck? Did, did you just not see that? Like it was the same the same question. Oh, how many? What what meals do you eat? But Eric would he would he would film every single meal every day in prep, right? And they would be like, oh, what do you eat? What the f did I just not post the entire <laughs> day of eating every day? Let me <laughs> it's, Google it's... that for you, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was just so fulfilling, like the, the same shit over and over. Like, Well, when Stu brings that up, like, what does Sam have to do? That's one thing. That, that is one thing that I think. I'm like, how many times can he post his workout and his meals? Or oh, he don't even post the meals usually. How many how many days can he post a workout and talk to the camera before people say, "Ah, eh, let me skip this video today." You know what I'm saying? It, yeah, is it really up to the people though? Off. Like, if YouTube pushes you, they push you. Like, it doesn't. Like, he hit the lotto. That's the thing. I didn't. I didn't think there was enough viewership for any any bodybuilder, anybody who works out, to be able to get that many. <laughs> yeah, that's why this is so shocking. It's so weird. Like this, just the scale, like people get popular, right? But like not Bro. fucking, you know, that millions of subscribers in a few months. Popular. I don't be that's, because that's wild. If I watch one of his videos, I pretty much got the gist of the videos for the week. I don't have to watch every fucking video. So I, I might watch. Oh, let me see. Uh, let me watch his chest day. I'm not gonna watch his back day and his leg day and his arm day. And I'll just watch that chest day. Okay, I see he's 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 cutting, he's lean. So how do people watch every single video? You know to the what point it is? I, yeah. I I actually I, I can't believe I didn't say this earlier. So Sam is young, he's like 21, 22, right? He is awkward, but he's articulate. So he's right. very relatable to young, awkward zoomers who don't have any social skills and they go to the gym. And they're, you know, like, so like, this is like their friend and it doesn't even matter what he's doing. They're just, he's, they're, they're talking to their friend. That's what it feels like. I well, like, when I was in high school, I watched, I used to watch video game playthroughs of like, yeah. like just a video game. This guy would like do commentary over the game while he was playing it. And I watched like tens of thousands of hours of this one dude that I would the just girls like. The girls must have loved that, Stu. Oh yeah, dude. I was, I was they couldn't them. get, but they couldn't get okay. enough. Of it. <laughs> but like, I, it was it was the same shit, you know. I was like awkward. I was like, I had nothing better to do, so I was just like watching this shit, and I, I felt like I had somebody who I could relate to, you know. Yeah. And yeah. that's what he is, and so I guess in that respect, like, you know, he doesn't really need to evolve all that much. Not to say he won't, but like mm -hmm. the formula works because the formula is being a friend on the internet that's that's what he's doing 
we're we're in the era of streamers where people will watch Neon, a skinny kid just <laughs> do random shit. So I guess it's not that far fetched for somebody to watch Sam just do regular everyday shit. You know, people yeah. are watching kids like open up gifts and shit and be like, "Wow, uh, uh, avocado," you know, like shit like that. Like people, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. bro. Fun, are... <laughs> fun, fun, fun fact oh, with uh, Eric. I remember because I watched him when I was fucking young, like really young. When mm-hmm. Eric had his full long hair and he had a chest hair, and he went to the store with Rich and they made Adonis. a protein shake. Uh-huh, so yeah. he was you, you, you were fat as fuck. And I was yeah. like, I saw this Damn. man get fucking peeled. And I was like, if this motherfucker can get peeled, I'm gonna get fucking peeled the first time ever. Yeah. I swear to God, it motivated me, and I did it. I did it yeah, on my own too. Um, this is my first time in here. Eric, are you the guy that, like, with Rich in the parking lot? The fight? Yeah, yeah that's you, him. You? Yeah. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Not, not, not Profit Muscle. You talking no. about Profit Muscle? He's not Profit Muscle. He's not Profit Muscle? <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, but I, I was sitting with Rich in a parking lot and just saw you, but no. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. No. I, I think you're talking about a different video when the guy wanted to fight Rich. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Okay. It was a prank. I was like, wait, is this the same person? Because I'm like, no, I, no. I was friends with Rich. Okay. Okay. No, okay. not, not, no, not I, that I guy. I used to love watching Rich, and that's how I came on to uh, Eric. That's how I found yeah. out who Eric was. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He did the bigger by the day, and so I watched Eric put on all this weight and then lose all this weight. I'm like, man, this fucking guy can do it. I can fucking do this shit. <laughs> you know what's crazy? <laughs> what you know what's crazy? Eric did the bigger by the day, and he actually did it. I don't even think Rich yeah. actually did it. Oh, Rich didn't. He, he sounded like eight meals. I went up. To <laughs> so, so I, I think Rich did that video because he's like, "Yo, who the fuck is this guy crazy enough to do this shit and film it?" Yeah. Like he's watching you do it, and, and you see the scale going up. Like this guy is really fucking doing it. Uh, you know, say I, I, I'm pretty sure that that's when I started following Eric. Too. I was like, "Yo, this motherfucker eating twelve meals a day. This motherfucker gained." 80 pounds, like what type of who does some shit like this? And I'm watching, I'm like, my fuck is crazy, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, when you seen the cut in my head, I was like, no way somebody who eats that much food can actually get shredded. I'm like, he, he can't take that hunger, he's gonna quit. There's no way he can do it. This motherfucker got he got too shredded to the point that he lost too much size. I'm like, this motherfucker is shredded. I was like, how the fuck did that happen? So I was like, you, you gotta have respect for somebody who can do that. I was like, okay, this this guy is a different level of crazy, you know. And when I when I moved out here. I started working out with him, and I was like, this guy, he's pretty... Because people thought he trained, like, they would be like, they called it uh, Fluff and Puff. They thought he trained, like, light or some shit. I don't know what, what the idea was. But when you actually train with somebody like that, and you see how fast they move, and how much... He was he would do 20 reps sometimes, like, crazy amounts of reps. And it's like, just because somebody isn't deadlifting 800 pounds doesn't mean they, they don't train hard, you know? Most yeah. people could never train with him. They couldn't. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand how, how that shit works. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, this guy is legit, like out of his fucking mind. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you know, actually, man, cool uh, I, I got to know who Beatty was, who Jason Coley was, <laughs> um, yeah, someone else too. But yeah, that's all because Eric. Yeah, and then when man. I saw Beatty coming to Fit Nation, I was like, oh shit! I kind of know that guy. What a <laughs> <laughs> You get you know, the black guy. Eric. Yeah. No, but, uh, Jason, you guys know Jason Blaha? Who that Fuck was? Yeah, yeah that's his name. Oh, that's you're taking me about. way back. That's yeah. That's oh, it. Sh- I, I don't even know. So. I, I I don't even know where, where the beef started. I, I was in a beef you're that right. I didn't even know existed. I mean, it's hard to say. I, Dude, it's hard he to was say. just he was taking shots at everybody at one point. Like every, Bro, nobody was safe. <laughs> he's he, he's calling me butt but butt buddy brandy. And I'm like, I don't know the guy. What why the fuck is he calling me that? What type of shit? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I, I was I was confused. I, I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even know what, what I, I wasn't into social media. I didn't know what the fuck that was. But at that time I, I didn't get hated him. Boston but Lord that hated guy, him. <laughs> I mean, the guy was easy to hate, bro. He he kept saying, uh, "Me and Eric gonna die." He said before we hit like twenty eight. I mean, we're we're older than that now. But he was like, "You guys are gonna die," and I'm like, "What the fuck is wrong with this dude?" You know, <laughs> I don't. But he, but he was he uh, he wanted us to die and all type of. He, crazy he made shit. videos like giving everybody a timeline of how long. Yeah, he, was he had a few screws loose, man. That, 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 was, that, that guy was, was, was strange. Although that's 
that's kind of too far. <laughs> and, and he made fun of Rich when he died. That's too far. But I feel bad that like people fuck with uh, f- considering how little followers and views he has people fuck with him more than like any celebrity like he can't yeah. even like find a place to live because like people call him bomb threats and shit <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> his own doing but, Dude, exactly yeah. bro yo he did it to himself bro how, how did he even get it i guess he got on youtube when there was no <laughs> no fitness youtubers right because how oh, did he yeah. get any views he's how one the of the first did... guys yeah and, and you know who was the first one he was the first one to ever do Natty or not. Wow. Yeah. He could have been big. Would, like, he would, he keep on a... making videos later on, and he would just be, like, reloading ammo the whole time with his <laughs> yeah. press. Like, oh, yeah. dude, you're such a schizo. Stop it. <laughs> like, it was, it was such a weird time with, up. like, fitness YouTube, man. Like, because that was, like, the mm-hmm. Louis Marco era, too, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Louis, Louis, Louis was wild, too. He, that Louis was a wild was guy. Wild, you know, Louis was wild. <laughs> Yeah. No, but his natty or nots were such a shit show because like if somebody like left a negative comment about him, like some bodybuilder, he'd be like, Oh, that's proof that they're not natty because they have something to hide. And so it, yeah, yeah. it's like he's he really claimed to be thing. like have, have gotten like training with the CIA at Langley or something. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He 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 was a complete fraud. I don't I, I don't know. Like he was never actually strong. He was just kind of like a bald fat guy. You know, <laughs> Yeah, somebody, understand. somebody ran up in, to him and, and like measured his arm or some shit like that. What, what was that? Somebody saw him in person. No, you don't remember that, Eric? I don't think anything. This sounds like something Eric would do. <laughs> I don't remember seeing the video. You guys want to hear something funny? So I um I said I don't remember what I said. I said something like I'm thinking about going to his powerlifting meet dressed as him. And somebody, <laughs> one of his trolls edited it to seem like I'm 100% going, and he just canceled the meet after. Like, he never <laughs> he did. What the fuck? <laughs> that, 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 that was a really strange era in fitness, but it, it was kind of fun, man. I got to be honest. It, it was kind of fun. It was the Wild West, man. Like, the, there was, was no formulas or boxes that everyone fit into yet. It was just like fucking trying everything, see what sticks. You guys remember uh, Elliot Hulse? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, you guys all remember. Guy, isn't he? <laughs> he he like turned into like a real weirdo. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, he he got all into like men's empowerment or something after he got divorced and it's <laughs> uh, like some guru or some shit now. I don't know. Holy Did fuck. you guys he know was, Chris was Jones? Hot twins. Of course. Well, Chris, Chris Jones was the OG. Well, Chris, Chris Jones, Jones is great. Yeah, I oh. like that. Guy. I, I love Chris Jones, bro. Yeah, bro, he's I a did, great, that, really good, good YouTuber. That guy, I remember when he came to LA and he invited me and Eric out to part the party with him. You remember that, Eric? Yeah. Oh, I remember. You, Eric was all huge in that little picture. He, <laughs> he was like, uh, like this. <laughs> but, That's when I was like <laughs> my heaviest, like three hundred seventeen pounds. Yeah. At, <laughs> at that at that point, me and Eric, we was so we was meatheads to the max. It was we just we just went because it was Chris Jones. Like we're not gonna say no to Chris Jones. Me and Eric didn't fucking party at that time, bro. So we we come like we look just like we like bodyguards or some shit. And we just <laughs> did like this. And these guys they're having a good time. And like, girls all over the place. Me and Eric go, we're like this, we're like a little too. Like, you know, like we we don't drink and party and shit, but we we had to be there. It was a bunch of like I don't know, like I guess influencers and shit there. We don't fucking know what the fuck is going yeah, on. Bro, back just... then, that's what I'd watch. I would watch Chris Jones, Eric, Rich. I would uh, I would see who the hell Jason Blaha was because I always see Eric <laughs> making fun of him. But yeah, bro, that Hodge, was the era. Hodge Elliot Twins. Holtz. Yeah, watch Hodge, uh, Hodge Twins. Yeah, before they went fucking oh, political and shit. They, they yeah, were super, they... <laughs> they're still super funny, but yeah. super controversial. Like, they don't give a fuck at, at this point, you know what I'm saying? Still super funny though, but their fitness content was like you know back in those days, like yeah, it was good, they were dude. like the good. yeah. I think they started making more money with the political stuff because obviously I think so. Audience, so I think I so. It. So I mean, you know, when I, I was just starting to lift, that's who I watched because they were like these characters, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like that's who I needed to watch. I don't know how I could never watch somebody like Sam Sulek if I was a beginner. Like yeah. I don't, I, I don't like the whole relatable thing. I I need to watch somebody who's like freak, smart, yeah. Smart. <laughs> I want to watch yeah. Rich Piana eat some yeah. Ben and Jerry's. Oh, 
got me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those was the days, man. You know, yeah. you know, you know, one thing I regret. I remember uh, Eric's last workout with Rich. He invited me. It was like five thirty in the morning. Yo, come through. Work, work out with me and Rich. And I was like, oh damn, it's kind of early, man. Uh, I'll do it next time. And then Rich, and then Rich literally. No, six days. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then Rich went into a coma and then died. I'm like, what the fuck? And I thought like, when people say life is short, bro, don't take that shit for granted. Like, I was telling my boy the other day, like, yo, let's start going to Gold Venice like once a week. He's like, why? I'm like, bro, just to say we did one day because it's going to close and then we're going to be like, damn. You know, obviously it's not the same, but That's when you got a chance. I don't like catcher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a, a bunch of smelly, smelly hobos. <laughs> no, but. Like when you have the chance to do something, sometimes just do it. Even if you don't feel like doing it, just do it because you don't really know how things play out. So in the back of my head, I'm like, yo, how cool would it have been to work out with Rich Piana, bro? That's fucking cool. But you just assume he's just gonna be here forever, you know? I don't know. It's, it's like Arnold. I've never met Arnold. I know he still goes to Venice. And I'm like, let me let me pop up there and meet him. But then I'm like, ah, I'm tired. I'll go a different day. But Arnold is in his seventies. Like, he might not be here, you know, though. So, the the moral of the story is just take advantage of everything you got around you because the shit don't shit don't last forever, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sad, movie. like, because I've never been to Venice myself, and that as a mm -hmm. Bible, that's like a pilgrimage. You always want to want to experience that, right? Like, but Zayd, I mean, you you train there pretty frequently now. What would you say is the atmosphere still like conducive for like pure bodybuilding, or it's completely just touristy at this point it depends what kind of person you are are you the type of person who's like oh the original 2000s bodybuilders are not there oh nobody everybody's shit or are you gonna be the guy who looks up to other newer pros because dude there's a lot of active pros in this gym but they're not mm -hmm. pretty known you know it's yeah, not yeah. the same as the uh, as competition level like before but the vibe mm -hmm. the atmosphere honestly it's still there and each time I go there, I feel fucking crazy motivated to just, like, be at my best, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, it has to slow down a bit, I can't lie, but you still can catch that really good vibe, you know? Does yeah. Tom, Tom Platt still train people? Not there, no. Oh, yeah. okay. I mean, yeah, I guess it depends when you go, the kind of people you're around. There, there's, there's still, like, there's still a hardcore group of people they're just not the majority, but do you need the majority? I, I don't know. It, it kind of depends. I mean, listen, Fit, Fit Nation is hardcore, right? But there's still a lot of regular people that go there as well. But as long as you have your group of 10 people who are hardcore, that sometimes that, that's enough to hold the gym up. You know what I'm saying? Fit Nation is way more hardcore than Gold Venice, though, I will say that. But still, Venice, you know, you got Damien, you got Eric Brown, you even got uh, Mo, Mo Shaban still goes there. You got Zaid. Zaid goes there. You know what I'm saying? Charles Glass is still there. People like uh, Sam Sulek was there, uh, what, yesterday? I mean, uh, yeah. people people do make the, the pilgrimage. So, I mean, uh, that's, that's uh, I see Jeremy, Jeremy Bendia there sometimes. Michael Lockett. Uh, Michael Lockett is there every day. Um, Sylvia. Also. Brandon, uh, Brandon, uh, what's the, the other Brandon? Not Curry. Brandon Ray. Brandon Ray is still there. Um, you still, I mean, people pop in like Jay pops in. Uh, I've seen uh, Lee Priest been there. I mean, you you, you see people Dorian pop Yates in was there uh, two weeks two weeks two weeks ago. There you go. You know, what I'm saying yeah. so. so pe yeah. People pop in, and I like seeing that. Honestly, like for what I'm not, I don't go up to people. Sometimes I wish I did just to have the memories, but I I don't like to interrupt people. So I just when I see people, I'm like, oh, that's dope. That guy is there, but. I don't really go up to people that that much. I might say what's up, but I feel like once you st once I start taking pictures or something like that, you make it less personable. Like you just become like a random fan to them. When you talk to them, shake their hand and have a conversation, they always like they'll 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 keep you in mind. Next time you see them, Jay will be like, "Yo, hey, yeah." Like Zayd is like best friends with with Jay now because he had real conversations with him. Like, hey. I'm Zay, whatever, this, that, 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 uh, uh, you know, not just being like, wow, Jay, selfie, and then walk off, right? I actually talk to these people. They're, they're people too. Hey, what's up, Jay? Where I remember the first time I met you here, and they'll remember you. So now they'll they'll show you the same respect. Hey, what's up? Whereas if you're just fanning out, you're just a fan. They don't really, they can't really, you know, they don't, they put you like on like a different, you know, different level. Yeah, I never want to be like a fanboy. 
No, you don't want to be a fan. A lot, a lot of these gyms, right? Like you just said, like you never know. Like they're they're going like you know, if you look at 2015, 20, 2010 or before 2015 down, like Bev's powerhouse, right? Um, and and uh so y'all sit here. You have Juan Morel, you have all these like top East Coast guys that used to train there. It's it's there's still guys that train there now, but it's not it's not what no, it was, not. you know. You know what I mean? So it's like just that, a that's different why I'm time. That question. It's just a different time. Like it's yeah. bodybuilding is just like spread out, you know. Yeah, yeah F- like fitness is huge. Clubs left. There's like there's Dallas, Tampa, and Vegas. Yeah, I mean I can't. Think well, of yeah, places really. I, I will say Dragon's Lair is is pretty. Almost everybody in there is like a pretty high level competitive bodybuilder, amateur pro. Almost yeah. everybody in there, and uh, if they if they don't compete. You couldn't tell because they look like they compete though. That that that's that's probably as hardcore as it gets. You know what I'm saying? Tor- Torture Gym is pretty good as well. Um, have you been there? Yeah, I have yeah, I have. Yeah, I didn't realize how small it was. It's a it's a good little gym though. Pretty small, but those uh, new tech machines, man, those those should feel good as fuck. That should feel smooth. Yeah, well, those it's, are made for, it's a small gym. It's made for Korean people. It's. <laughs> but, hey, my my buddy is not the, Korean. Uh, <laughs> my my buddy yeah. knew the owners or whatever in there, and he got me in there when I was driving across the country, so I got to check it out. But it yeah. really is an awesome gym. But like you, you know, get... the, where you, you're never going to see like four or five big name open pros training regularly at the same gym anywhere now, like. That used to happen at Bells. It used yeah, to happen at, at Golds, right? It just doesn't, you know. I think I think Dragon's Lair is the closest you'll get there. You might have yeah. Nick and Keon in there at the same time, but yeah, not four or five though. Maybe maybe two if you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> you got. I saw Shanique Grant there. I saw. I don't know. I saw a few people there, but yeah, I mean that that's probably as hardcore as the guess. But honestly, man, sometimes. As long as I got the right people with me, if I got a, a couple of training partners, I'm good to go, man. I, I go fuck around and go to Planet Fitness. If I got a good uh, training partner with me, I, I'll turn that Planet Fitness into into goals in the 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. If I, if I go in there with Joe, Zay, Ken, and Stu... We going I mean, Eric could come too if he wants, but uh, <laughs> as long as <laughs> if, yeah, that would be great, long, dude. That would be really good. Yeah, that'd be a good workout. And me and Jay, we got to get a real workout. And that, that last workout, we, we kind of was just talking. We was, we was hanging out, bro. I have sciatica. <laughs> I can't bend over. <laughs> that's what she I said. have to heal my pain. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's All right, dude, man. Tough. I feel like it, we've been on for Eric, long enough. Yeah, Eric's gone through like four cigarettes. I think we need to stop. <laughs> yeah, <he's... laughs> I was wondering if anybody else noticed. It. I was counting. Is it three or four? I think it's five. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. <laughs> what what does smoking what does smoking do for smokers? Like you feel relaxed and shit? Makes you be you feel like a man, bro. Well, I, it just it just gets to something to do. I don't like like if you're on a phone call or you're driving, like those are pretty boring things otherwise but if you're smoking it's like you're i don't know it's like you're doing something more do you feel anything though do you feel like whoa that's whew, that nicotine baby is uh, doing what it does. if i just woke up or like after a plane ride like when i haven't smoked for a while then yeah like i for sure yeah i remember when i was like let me get the timeline right before somebody gets mad when i was like 20 maybe or 21 don't quote me but uh i was dating this girl and she was like 30 at the time. And she used to smoke all the time. And I was like, yo, let me try that shit. And she's like, no, I don't want to be bad influence. You were young. Like, let me try it. And I tried it. And I got like a head rush, bro. Yeah. I felt like lightheaded. And I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Let me try them more. Yeah. You know yeah, what fucking what I'm saying is like people nowadays, they take prescription pills, they take they smoke weed, they do coke, and then they act like smoking cigarettes is the craziest thing. Oh, you're gonna get cancer, or whatever. Are you are, are you referring to to just Jessica, <laughs> I, I'm referring to everybody. In my comments, you know, like, oh my god, you actually smoke? I thought it was just for the character. Like, oh my god, you're gonna die all over again. Do you remember that girl that would go <laughs> to, to your training sessions and would take the weights off for you and put them on? 
was that a real person? Or, or that was oh, she was she was she was real. That was actually how what she was. The fuck? She <laughs> literally asked me to come re-rack my weights, and I'm like, oh fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> like <laughs> what? Bro, the, the okay, uh, tell me if I'm right or wrong because uh, you, you, I'm sure you know her a lot better than I do. I couldn't tell if she wanted to like fuck fuck <laughs> Eric. Or like she just was obsessed with him, like as a fan. I couldn't tell. I was like, I think she, I think she likes you. I, I, I couldn't tell. But then I'm, I, I feel like she would be more forward. Like if a girl likes you, she wouldn't be like, let me rack your weights. Like wouldn't she be trying to hang out with you? That's I don't so know that. Cool, bro. <laughs> I never heard about did, that. <laughs> what the hell? Did she? Did she ever try to make a move on you, bro? Like she never tried to make a move on you? No. no. What the fuck? So crazy, I mean, I. Bro. That's, that's strange. That's, that's I thought strange. I haven't heard of. Character. I thought for that's sure. That's good for leg day. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> if I was Eric, yeah. I, I would have took it down just for the fuck of it. Let me see see what she got. See, see what she got going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? I mean, if she's that she's that passionate about you, she might do some things for you. I, I don't know. That's just me though. But <laughs> <laughs> it is does, does, she, <laughs> does, does she still does she still like do you still keep in contact with her or no? Uh, she uh, she just hit me up for the first time in like a couple of years. She was like, "Oh my god, remember me? I used to be your gym assistant." Oh my yeah. god, you're famous now. What it, like? I don't. I, I. It's like she's still in character. I don't know. Tell her. Tell Tell her to come. Uh, <laughs> you, you know what's funny? I don't think anybody believed that. I think everybody thought like she was like a paid That's actress. How she actually she, is. Yeah. Yeah. She's, That's why yeah. I asked. I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" <laughs> tell, tell her to come uh, rack my weights. Just if to... you figure out what's going on there, please let me know because that sounds very <laughs> handy. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe, maybe I could get a dude to do it because I think my girl would fucking kill me if yeah. that oh, arrangement yeah. was happening. But like, yeah, it's <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Eric, I, I got to be honest, Eric got some weird fans, man. He got some crazy fans. Like yeah. these, these people are they're, they're different. The next level. You think bodybuilder fans are weird? I mean, these these kind they're of fans just gay, are gay, bro. Different. <laughs> <laughs> <It's predictable at laughs> Do you have you have gay fans, Eric? Um, I mean, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the guys that comes to my fan meetups always, he's uh, he's gay, but he's, he's like cool. aggressively he's like gay. Weird. Okay, okay. okay. He's a cool guy. But, bro, Eric, was it me and you at the gym when some old guy was like, he wanted to watch us work out? What? No. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 there was one day me and you were training legs, and some old guy was like, he wanted to watch us work out. You don't remember I, that? I, are you sure that was me? <laughs> I, I, I think so. I that. I'm pretty sure. I, I think I told you, but you, you probably maybe, forgot. Maybe Eric was the old guy who was like, he must have. Blacked it out. He he must have blacked it out his head. Oh, that's that's a good idea for my creep character asking people if I can watch them work out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't walk that. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Uh, I feel like we've been on for uh, over two hours, so I'm gonna sign off, but stay on because I wanted to ask Stu something. Oh, the post podcast uh, podcast. Yeah, the post podcast oh, podcast. Bro. Shit. <laughs> Well, we we gotta, gotta start posting. Story, bro, Stu. There's a story yeah, gotta... for you to tell us. <laughs> bro, uh, I wanted to post that Compton one on like Patreon or something. I'm like, that's too good. <laughs> that was it's good, too good. Man. It's too good to yeah. go to waste. But you can't, you can't air the, the truth hurts sometimes. Sometimes people, people aren't ready for the truth. But did, right, did guys, Justin message you about it? Uh, 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 he, he did. He, he was like, like, was I a bit too harsh? I was like, me personally, I love it, but. If we're being honest, that that's gonna he was like, I don't want anybody's like placings or anything to be uh <laughs> to be to be that's messed with. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that it might be best to just uh I, I almost chopped the whole fucking segment, but I was like, let me leave some bits in there because I still want people to hear some of some of it, you know. Oh, okay. but I are we signing off to you guys. Bye, people. Bye, people. Bye, people. Bye, people. Bye, people.